Greetings, everyone. In the name of Jesus Christ, this, ladies and gentlemen, is again the Worldwide Truth of God radio and television program. It's a pre-recorded program coming to you from the International and General Assembly of the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ. Our headquarters is located at 2431 Frankfurt Avenue. That's in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, right here in the United States of America, where Pastor Gino Jennings is our leader, teacher, guide, and general overseer. Madame et Monsieur, nos salutations à de la radio et de la télévision audience au nom de Jésus-Christ. Nous sommes la vérité du Dieu programme avec le pasteur Gino Jennings. Saludos a todos nuestros radio escuchas de habla hispana en el nombre de Jesucristo. Este es el programa radial, Verdad de Dios, con el pastor Gino Jennings. We ask you to bear with us as Minister Brian Craig from Delmar, Delaware, location will now lead us in prayer. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you first and foremost for allowing us to come here today to hear your word. We thank you for giving us another opportunity to be saved, Lord God. We give you all the honor, you get the highest praises, and all the glory that's due unto you, Lord God. Lord God, there's none like unto you, Lord God. We thank you for all that you've done, Lord God. We thank you for all that you're doing, Lord God. We thank you for all that you're going to do, Lord God, through your word, Lord God. Lord God, we thank you for the way of holiness, Lord God. We thank you for how clean it is, Lord God. We thank you for how pure it is, Lord God. Lord, we thank you for your ways, Lord God. And Lord, we're asking, Lord God, as the word is preached, Lord, that you prick every heart, Lord God. Open up their fears, Lord God. Open up blind eyes, Lord God, that they may see the truth, Lord God. Let them hear your word, Lord God, and obey your word by being baptized, Lord God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we pray, Lord God, that you, Lord God, will prick their hearts and cause them to repent, Lord God. Cause them to examine their lives, Lord God, that they may say, what must I do to be saved? And Lord God, we give you the glory, the honor, and all the praises. Now, Lord, I ask that you bless the man of God. Lord, the messenger, Lord God, that you've called and sent to the world, Lord God. We ask that you give him strength, Lord, continually, Lord. Lead him and guide him in the path that he should go. And Lord God, we pray, Lord, that you have your way today in this service. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. This is Jordan you're listening to and watching the Worldwide Truth of God radio and television program. It's a pre-recorded program for those who are not watching live over the internet. Coming to you from the International and General Assembly of the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ. Our headquarters is 2431 through 49 Frankfurt Avenue. That's in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, right here in the United States of America, where Pastor Gino Jennings is our leader, teacher, guide, and general overseer. You're also listening to and watching the concluding services of our 22nd. It's our 22nd Holy International Men's Con uh, Convocation. Uh, this year, we're actually assembled at the Ramada Inn. It's a uh, 76 Industrial Highway in the town of Essington, Pennsylvania. Again, this is uh, the 22nd Holy International Men's Convocation that we're celebrating on this particular occasion. Today, we're assembled at the Ramada Inn. The Ramada Inn, 76 Industrial Highway in the town of Essington, Pennsylvania, here in the United States of America. Uh, this recording is being made on the afternoon of September the 5th, September the 5th, the year 2010. Now, you can write or email us for any of the following, a current list of all our radio and television stations, a uh, list of our church locations both then and outside of the United States, a uh, listing of biblical literature written by Pastor Jennings, and for the church's magazine, it's called the Truth of God Journal. It's still the fourth edition. Uh, the fifth edition is on its way, and that's available for uh, 10 US dollars. A cassette recording of this, the Worldwide Truth of God radio and television program, can also be obtained at the cost of five US dollars. Uh, we also do have CDs and DVDs of our programs that you'll hear or see uh, from time to time. Uh, before going any further, we'd just like to remind you that today's or tonight's series of programs, series of three programs, I believe it will be, begins with program number 869. Once again, today's or tonight's series of programs begins with program number 869. Now, if you desire to have the gospel preached in your area, in person, by Pastor Jennings, or if you have questions, or concerns about this program, we'd like you to write to us 
Uh, I'll give you a street address first. It's uh, 2431 through 49 Frankfurt Avenue. That's in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, the zip being 19125. However, you can also send your mail to our post office box address. It's uh, P.O. Box 7745. P.O. Box 7745. Again, that's in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, the zip being 19101. Uh, you can also uh, send us an email. Our email address is truthofgod at errols.com. Once again, if you have a question or concern about our telecast, anything you may have seen or heard, and I'm sure many people will, uh, send us a short email to truthofgod at errols.com. Uh, you can also call us uh, toll free. Our toll free number is 1 888 231 2201. Once again, our toll free number to you is 1 888 231 2201. We are also on the internet. You can go to our website, visit our website. You'll also find their past and uh, current versions of our program. Our website address is www.truthofgod.com. Once again, go to the internet and uh, visit our website at www.truthofgod.com. I do believe most of that information I've given, both our address, our phone number, our website addresses, uh, those things will be uh, displayed uh, throughout the program, uh, both this program and future programs. Uh, we'd like to say a few quick words to our French-speaking listeners. Madame et Monsieur, nos salutations à de la radio et de la, de la télévision audience au nom de Jésus-Christ. Nous sommes la vérité du dire, programme avec le pasteur Gino Jennings. Cette émission nous parvient de la première église de notre Seigneur Jésus-Christ, située à 2431 Frankfurt Avenue à Philadelphie, Pennsylvania, 1925, aux États-Unis d'Amérique. La voie plan de salut du Dieu demande le repente et le baptême dans l'eau au nom de Jésus-Christ pour l'absolution de vos péchés et que vous sauviez le cadeau de Saint-Esprit comme il est écrit dans la Bible. Nous vous invitons à notre clair pour recevoir une documentation gratuite en français ou en anglais et titulée « Êtes-vous honnête, femme prédicatrice ?» et « Jésus-Christ est Dieu tout puissant ». Encore une fois, nous vous appelons notre adresse Première Église, Notre Seigneur Jésus-Christ. 24, 31 Frankfurt Avenue à Philadelphie, Pennsylvania, 1925, aux États-Unis d'Amérique. Dieu vous bénisse, nous espérons avoir de bonnes nouvelles très prochainement. That's to our French-speaking audience. Again, we'd just like to remind you that you're listening to and watching. It's the Worldwide Truth of God radio and television program. It's pre-recorded if you're not watching over the internet, coming to you from the international and General Assembly of the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ. Our address, 2431 Frankfurt Avenue in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Uh, you're also listening to and watching the concluding service, the concluding service of this, our 22nd, 22nd Holy International Men's Gathering or Men's Convocation. Uh, this year we're gathered at the Ramada Inn. Uh, it's 76 Industrial Highway in the town of Essington, Pennsylvania, here in the United States. Of America. You're also listening to uh, a program that everybody needs to listen to and to watch. Uh, I've classified it as reality television of the religious kind. If you're a person of faith, my God, this program is for you. If you have no fear of God, this program is for you. And having said that, we're going to ask you to sit attentively now and listen to the Word of God coming from our leader, teacher, and guide. He's the messenger of the Almighty God, Pastor Gino Jennings. Greetings, brothers and sisters. Again, we are thankful for God's divine wisdom and his perfect understanding of all things. We thank him for his guidance in sending his servants, the prophets, and his well-taught students, the apostles. To our television viewers and to you that are listening around the world, we bear witness there is no God absolutely at all but one. Amen. There is no God with him. There is no God before him. There is no God besides him. We associate none with the Almighty. Amen. God is absolute. God is perfect. God is not begotten. God is not born, nor is God a created source, but God is the source of all creation. Mm -hmm. God is not a man. Mm -hmm. 
He's not a black man and he's not a white man. God is not your pastor. Your pastor have a birthday. That's right. God has no mother. That's right. God has no father. God is eternal father. Besides God, he has no rival. God is absolute. We associate none with such perfection. Right. The reason why we say this because too many religions have tried to deprive God of his greatness mm -hmm. and want to make God like man, mm -hmm. ignorant. Mm -hmm. Man is one of the dumbest things God made. That's right. <laughs> Glory to God. That's right. It doesn't put a flaw in God's ability to create. No. The reason why we say this because whenever God has made a way for man to escape his judgment, mm -hmm. man always go opposite from the way God said. That's right. In the days of Noah, he said he would destroy the world with a flood. The man stayed out of the ark Amen. and the animals went in. Mm -hmm. Noah and his household were saved, but the rest of the world ignored the message. Mm -hmm. In the days of Lot and Sodom and Gomorrah, the Lord warned that he's going to destroy the city. Yeah. Lot and his family came out, but the rest of the people Stay then. My man is a dumb thing. That's right. As it was in Noah day, Jesus said, so shall it be when the son of man come. Mm -hmm. In other words, God have implemented law, a way to escape the judgment that he's about to bring upon not just America, mm -hmm. but the world. But instead, of the world grasping what God wants them to take to escape eternal judgment, the world willingly and gladly rejects the concept of God. That's right. So we are thankful today, brothers and sisters, that we're not rejecting holiness. That's right. The book of scripture teaches us holiness without which. No man. Well, oh, that got everybody. That's right. Without holiness, the Lord declares, no man shall see him. Mm -hmm. So we're here at the close of this men's conference, and we thank God for the men that are here mm -hmm. and to the billions that are watching around the world, be it black, white, yellow, brown, or red. We're glad that you are tuning in. This is the greatest religious program in America. Amen. Now, I'm not just saying that because I'm trying to build something up. <laughs> God don't need no building. That's right. My God, he's perfect all by himself. That's right. This is the greatest religious program. What make it so great? Nothing but the truth is there. Truth. Nothing but the truth, so help me God. That's right. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing. It's not about Pastor Jennings. That's right. Not about that at all. No. It's bigger than a human being. Amen. This stuff is all about God. Amen. And we are determined to represent God in the manner that he established. So therefore, Satan have established religion as well. Right. But Satan's objective is to counteract everything that God have done, go against it. Right. So as I have said, moreover, by God's permission, we are endeavored to stick to what God said. That's right. Viewers, you that are watching, we're not bending at all to compromise God's word to make a friend or to keep a friend. That's right. 
We're not compromising the word of God to fellowship with some preacher. Right. We're not compromising the word of God just to have a mega church. <laughs> That's right. That's right. God, I want eternal life with God. You can have your mega church. Amen. That's what we're laboring for. Amen. Viewers, this is the only religious program that's on the air that's not show business. That's right. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's not show business and it's not entertainment. No. This is all God's divine word. Mm -hmm. There are no pre-planned sermons. We didn't go to school to figure out how can we be a preacher because we was bored with our present occupation. That's right. No, you got men getting tired of their regular occupation, so they wake up and say, you know what? I think I'd be a preacher. You know, that's what MC Hammer done. That's right. Didn't he do it? Amen. MC Hammer got tired of wearing baggy pants and skipping around and got in trouble with the IRS. Well, I think I'll be a preacher today. Amen. 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 Al Green stopped, got kind of tired of singing <laughs> semi-love gospel songs. That's right. <laughs> That's right. And went from the entertainer to the reverend entertainer, mm -hmm. Al Green. Al Green. Little Richard. <laughs> right. Oh, glory to God. That's right. <laughs> He come along with one leg up on the piano. That's right. <laughs> Am I right, man? Amen. <laughs> Glory to God. He come along with one leg on the piano and, yeah. amen, hair all curled up. <laughs> Once in a while, I believe he took a break from it. Yeah. yeah. Jumped in the pulpit. That's right. Now, Reverend Literature. Reverend, that's right. You see how the world do not take this sin seriously? No. Any time you can just pick up a Bible hmm. and run up in a pulpit and open some church like it's a McDonald's. That's right. Or a Burger King. Mm -hmm. Or a Wendy's or a Kentucky Fried Chicken. <laughs> Amen. And that's exactly the way these men open up churches. Right. It's a fast food, quick fix business. That's right. And then they get in the pulpit and tell you a bunch of lies, hide behind the name of Jesus, mm -hmm. and have a bunch of fools running around, falling all over the floor, waddling like a roach. That's right. That been sprayed very sincerely. Amen. Well, viewers, hmm. I'm not over the air to make you my friend. Oh, no. Nor am I over the air to take your money. That's right. But I am over the air to take your sin. Right. Amen. I wouldn't say I don't like you. You're not supposed to. <laughs> this is the program that you are commanded to love. That's right. You got to love the truth of God. That's right. I got to hate the truth of God is to hate the very reason why Jesus came here. Amen. You know, Jesus let us know he came here for mm -hmm. the truth of God. That's right. Didn't he say so? That's right. You know, so this is our objective, television viewer. This is our purpose is to simply enlighten you mm -hmm. and counteract anything and everything. I wouldn't want to be the church that come on before us. No. And I would not want to be the church that come on after. That's right. Now what I want you to do, what I want you to do, if you listen to a religious program that come on before the truth of God, that's all right. Compare notes. Compare. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Listen. Compare. Listen good. Mm -hmm. And then compare it with what is written. Now I want to say to all the churches and you that are watching, we greet all the brothers and sisters around the world and uh, we want to thank you moreover for your emails and your handwritten letters. I greet our viewers that is watching this morning in Jamaica. We were in Jamaica uh, a little bit over two weeks ago now where we had a beautiful meeting. Mm -hmm. This is the first time I've seen some of you since we've been back. 
As you know, the telecast is covering all the island of Jamaica from top to bottom, from north to the south, from the east end to the west end. Mm -hmm. And what we're doing, we're going throughout the entire island in person. Mm -hmm. Hanging and banging with God's eternal word. Amen. So a few weeks ago, we were in an area called St. Anne. First time I've been uh, in that area. And oh God, the people was coming out by the number. And we was there uh, that Friday evening. Well, that Saturday afternoon, we were uh, asked to come to another part of the island in an area called Highgate, Jamaica. Never been there. But our meeting was sponsored by a medical pharmacy who collaborated with a local radio station. And they want us to have a outdoor meeting right in the center of town. So uh, when we got there, I didn't know what to expect, but I learned to adapt to anything. So I asked the brother, I said, well, where are we going to preach? He pointed to a flatbed. So they linked the ladder up on a flatbed truck. We clamped up on the flatbed. They set up a makeshift tent, and God knows we went to work. Amen. <laughs> went to work, God knows. We had about a 15, 20 minute interview with the uh, radio station and then we were blessed to do a live radio broadcast. Then it was streamlined over the internet. So we did a international radio broadcast live and to see so many people crowded all in the streets and lined up uh, in the shopping area and coming out of the stores and even drug dealers was in the street mm. transacting business and I just couldn't let them get away with it. That's right. Amen. Glory to God, the word of God went after them until they stop and look and start looking at me and I told them, I said, yes, I'm talking to you too. Amen. You see, when it comes to the word of God, God takes over everything. That's right. You know, it's a beautiful thing to be able to go any place in the world and you get good results. That's right. So out of that meeting, souls come to be baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. So we was in an area that have never rented a facility. This gentleman who was a businessman in St. Anne, he just built a new complex and uh, no religious service ever was held there. So he opened his doors to us and nice looking place, beautiful size auditorium and the word of God packed it out. But he had a big fancy pool in the lobby so fish can swim in it. I told him, I said, look, I need some place to baptize. I said, what do you have this for? He said, well, Pastor Jennings, I got it for fish. I said, well, I want to go fishing. <laughs> he said well it's not complete I said well I need a place to baptize he said well I'll tell you what I do I'll get some contractors in here late tonight we'll finish it and uh, we'll have it so you baptize anybody you want we came in that morning they had the pool filling up with water Wonderful. and souls was going down in water <laughs> so we got back to America. We was only here for two days. And then we took off the same week we arrived. Hmm. <laughs> and we went unannounced to Mobile, Alabama. Amen. To handle some good, sweet Holy Ghost business. Amen. You know, brothers and sisters, I'm telling you. No one can convince me otherwise. God Almighty, without question, without doubt, is with the truth of God. We, we have been traveling to Mobile now, I say in the over, over 16 or 17 years. And the Mobile, Alabama temple, where I believe is 1911 Halls Mill Road, is the smallest temple uh, that we have throughout in the country so far. And it was a building that we converted to a church. Well, over 17 years ago, when I first went to Mobile, I saw a large white church. When I say white, I'm not talking about in race. I'm talking about the color of the building. 
and it was 8,000 square feet. Balcony and everything, you know, sitting on Government Street. And to you that don't know what is Government Street of Mobile, Government Street is like the Broadway of New York, where property is $2 million, a million point this, and a half a million that, and million point seven the other, and where the governors and all the big shot devils that live. So I, I prayed over 17 years ago and asked God, if it be at all possible, <laughs> I want that building right there. But then I forgot about the prayer. So June of this year was the local branch church anniversary and God gave us a good meeting. And Brother Minister Collins who's doing a very good job in Mobile along with Brother Martin, called me and said, bro, you know the church you told me about years ago? I said, yes. He said, it's got a cell sign on it. He said, you want to see it? I said, ah, I'm Collins, I'm tired. I just got it. He said, well, brother, look, this is the way it is. <laughs> you want to see it? You got 9 o'clock Saturday morning. I, I just couldn't pass it up. So we got ourselves together. We went down there and walked into the building. Now in the back part of the building was a office area and all that stuff, and it caved in in the back. But the whole front part, the entire church was intact. See, if you don't have an eye for things, you can't recognize a diamond in the rough. You know, so I went and looked at it, and um, the agent was there. The building first, they was asking for several hundred thousand. And the, I believe the Catholics or the Lutherans had it, and they refused to bend on the price. Hmm. But by the time we got there and saw it, it was down to about 150,000. So I gave them an offer of 40,000. I offer 40,000 on property that was 8,000 square feet. <laughs> and across the street, there was a big lot that came with it. That's about three quarters of an acre. And the church sat on about three quarters of an acre. And across the street from it is an exclusive restaurant that just went up for sale about a half million. And next door to that, there's a huge mansion, a row of mansions that's going for a million point five, two million, and all that other stuff. <laughs> so we gave him off of uh, 40,000, and <laughs> someone said, Pastor Jenny, you know you lost your mind. Well, pray for me that I find it, you know. <laughs> and what happened, they went from 150. And they, I think they came down to one, I think 35, if I'm not mistaken. So then I counted off of that 45,000. <laughs> I didn't want to do too much high jumping. Right. So then they came down, I think it was, if I'm not mistaken, 125. Then I moved up to 50,000. I thought I was doing something. <laughs> they kept coming down and I kept going up to each by five until I got to 65,000. Mm -hmm. By the time both sides was going back and forth, they came down to 70,000. Mm -hmm. I said, 67,000, not another dime. <laughs> Mind you now, this is on a major street where all property is prime, mm -hmm. millions and millions of dollars. Mm -hmm. And to you that are watching, yes, I'm talking about that big, white, large church right across from the cannon, which is a landmark in Mobile. So uh, I said 67000 not another dime. They took the offer, and we didn't have the money to give them. <laughs> yes. I did all that offering and uh, kept the numbers going, and I knew we didn't have the money. <laughs> no, I, did, I knew we didn't have it. But we start talking to the boss. And our banks that we've been doing business with for years, they reject us. And the dumb reason that they gave us, and I don't care if they are watching, 
Churches got buses, you know. If your car break down, you don't take your car and buy a new one. You get it fixed. Right. So the bank says we should not have put out money to fix our church bus. We should just let it sit there. Brother Minister Collins told them that's the dumbest thing I ever heard. So he called me, he said, uh, well, Pastor Jenny, they turned us down. I said, don't worry about that. The owner of the real estate company so you tell Pastor Janice, we'll do it. We got the paperwork together, presented it to them, I believe, that Thursday. I believe the underwriters got it that Friday. They approved us that Monday. I flew down and made settlement that Thursday. <laughs> so, it is the second largest branch temple. Baltimore is the first largest branch temple. But Mobile now is the second largest branch temple. Have a balcony and everything. Brother Collins is working close with us. That I, out of all the years, I knew Campbell. I know he's watching and listening. I never saw that fella so excited. He told me when the banks approved me, he said, bro, I came outside and I was about to break down. <laughs> so there is no limitations on God. You know, it just isn't. If that's not patience waiting for something, I don't know what is. Amen. Over 17 years, you're waiting so long until you forgot you even asked him for it. Amen. So God that blesses us. We have a beautiful new temple down there, another one in Mobile, Alabama, our old temple. We haven't decided what we're going to do, but we're thinking about turning that into a business for the church mm -hmm. and uh, do some redevelopment. So the saints down there didn't even know I was in town until we walked into the temple that Sunday morning and we was teaching and I told them we want to do something different. I want everyone to load up on the church bus. They looked at me like I was crazy. I said, I just want to take y'all somewhere. That's all. You know, back in the gangsters day, they said, I want to take you for a ride. <laughs> <laughs> so we load up the bus and they load up the church vans and the cars and they pulled up to the place. Never knew that they already owned it. Took them on the inside, and I was telling them about, you know, you got to have an eye. You got to have a vision. The word of God said without a vision, the people yes. perish. Yes. And I, God knows that's something that Jehovah have given me. God knows. Amen. He have given me a vision. That's right. What the others don't see, it doesn't matter to doesn't me. Matter. The eternal God said to the prophet Haggai at the latter house. He said, the glory of the latter house shall be greater than the former. So he took the brothers and sisters of the Mobile area inside the place. They looked around. They were like, oh, my God, look at it. I said, how y'all like it? They said, it's beautiful. I said, do y'all think we can buy this? Everyone yelled in one voice, yes, sir. I held the key up. I said, we got it already. <laughs> So Mobile is rejoicing. We met with Ark after we made settlement. We got in town after 1 o'clock. We had a settlement at 2.30. Later on that evening, we was meeting with the architect. The next day, we met with architects and contractors. The next day, so we was busy the entire time. And uh, we're about progress. That's right. God willing, demolition should start on the back part and to get rid of that, we done already got the place redesigned inside and out. And uh, getting things busy. Also, let me say to the saints, the insurance contact us and the contractors in reference to the headquarters temple. God willing, we should have some figures for you. If the be the Lord's will, we're supposed to meet this Thursday of this week. Some of you that are watching have wrote, me, wrote us and asked us why when we see the up-to-date telecast, we notice that they're being held in different places. Well, we're looking to tear down yeah. Frankfurt Avenue Old Church. Amen. 
we're looking to tear down the glory of the former house. Yeah. So we can have the glory of the latter house. Right. Yeah, we're looking to tear that down. Amen. Yeah, we want to tear it down and build something better so it can be uh, provide more space to hold more people. And so do we want to give the devil more room That's right. to come in and give up and surrender Amen. his ways to God. Amen. So, brothers and sisters, as we travel throughout America and the world, we're not traveling for fun. This is why we're not wasting our time to allow these little elves that call themselves preachers. That's right. To be a successful distraction. That's right. Our focus is on the work of God and the people of God and obeying that commission. Amen. Preach the gospel to every creature. That's it. And do you know God has given us results by the hundreds? That's right. That's wonderful, isn't it? Amen. To see the work constantly, constantly growing and moving. It's beautiful to have something that it, it never go out of style. That's right. <laughs> never, style. never. You know, sometimes you have things that go out of style, but God, I want to tell you hard head, stubborn things that are watching us now Amen. and that are listening. Mm -hmm. You got God to meet. Yes, oh, yes. You can go around and party and drink and smoke and live like the devil out of hell all you want. Mm -hmm. But you have God to meet. That's right. Uh, I, there's many of you that is writing us the, uh, I believe it was the women's conference that we held in Baltimore earlier this year, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Well, we were dealing with homosexuality and incest. Yes, mm -hmm. And I got loads of males came in that many folk was thankful who, because many of them were victims mm -hmm. of such a wicked experience. Mm -hmm. But then a woman preacher wrote me mm -hmm. and reproved me and rebuked me. <laughs> she laid me out and told me I had no right to speak against incest she said I should not speak against rape and molestation she said anytime a person speak against molestation is because they were a victim not me no God just tells me to cry loud cry loud that's right and spare not spare not Right. Any time a person don't want you to cry out against any form of sin, it is because they're guilty of it. That's right. Yeah. Amen. They're guilty of it. Amen. Men get upset with us because the Bible's against drinking. So they say, Gene, you can't drink in Gino's church. I don't have no church. That's right. No, I don't have no church. This is not Gino's church. Amen. This is not Gino and Darlene Ministries. That's right. This is the truth of God, hard-hitting, direct, direct, smack you in your face gospel. That's right. Huh? We don't That's come right. along and tap you. No. We slap you over with the word of God. Amen. Then tell you, get up so you can prepare yourself to get slapped all over again. That's right. That's the way God have it. That's the way you have it. You that are watching, you that are watching, if you are scared of getting right on God terms, mm -hmm. then you watch the cotton candy preacher. That's Amen. Joe Alstein. Alstein. Yeah. If you want entertainment and excitement mm -hmm. and some overwhelming enthusiasm, mm -hmm. watch Bobby Jones Gospel. That's right. The fairy program. Amen. Am I right? Amen. If you want anything else, mm -hmm. that's opposite from what God's word says. Opposite from it. Then it's available. Mm -hmm. God's mm -hmm. interest. He is so determined and wanting his message to be preached. Mm -hmm. He taught his apostles and they taught us and said, be instant in season. And out of season. What do you mean? Be prepared. Be prepared. My God, regardless of what time of year it is, That's right. be ready. I charge thee. Be, be ready to preach the word of God, regardless of what time of year it is, right. regardless of what season come. Mm -hmm. God wants you to be ready. Be ready. Now I'm glad to see some faces that I haven't seen in quite a long time. I'm glad to see a brother that I grew up with. I saw him come in 
Odell, raise your hand. Odell, what are you? God bless your heart. Amen. I'm glad to see my brother. We somewhat grew up together uh, from middle school and high school. And I thank God to see him. Glad to see another one of my brothers. I haven't seen a good time, Brother Kenyatta. I'm glad to see you as well. Brother, we're glad for all of you that are here. All right, let's open the book of pain. Amen. All right, viewers. Mm -hmm. It's time to get yourself ready now. Put your cigarette out. Yeah. That's right. You fella, put your beer down. Mm -hmm. Sister, <laughs> pour your sheet over you. That's right. Old man, take a break. Get your breath. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Glory to God. That's right. Get your breath. Amen. Hey, Amen. Go put your teeth in. Your teeth in. <laughs> My God, I want you to chew on some good scripture yeah, here. Right, <laughs> you preacher, mm -hmm. get ready to hear what the word of God says. Right. I just want to relate this to my viewers and you that are here because I know, I know that the nation of Islam is watching and listening. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, as you know, we had a discussion, several discussions with the Nation of Islam, I believe, in 2005. Uh, and one of the largest discussions we had was at Ben Franklin High School, where we had over 2,000 there. And it was a very good discussion, even though the brother that we were having the discussion with didn't stay, but the brother himself was respectful. Mm -hmm. And even though he left, well, the nation, I receive word, uh, have, I guess, appointed one of the top debaters. And they, as I was informed, wrote a form of book or booklet up on Pastor Jennings and the truth of God and made a DVD on us. And I'm told that it has been appointed to be a study guide for the nation in protecting the teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. So I was informed that the gentleman will be notifying me in a challenge to set the record straight of what color our creator is. Amen. He said he wants to prove to me once and for all mm -hmm. that almighty God, the Lord of Abraham, the Lord of Isaac and Jacob is a black man. Lord. He said he want to close my mouth with this mm. and shut me up and cause me to bow mm. to this black man. Lord. I don't bow to no man. No. My God is not black. That's right. And my God is not white. That's right. My God is not brown, yellow, or red. Mm. He said, Pastor Jennings, God is a spook. Mm. He said he's preaching spookism. Spookism. <laughs> That's right. Ooh. Spookism. Spookism. Mm. Now let me say this. You know, they, they contact our brothers in Baltimore, and the brothers contact us. They said how they top debaters shutting a lot of preachers up. Well, let me just say, don't put me in a category with them fellas. Oh, no. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I bear witness that God is not a man. That's right. I bear witness that God is not black. Mm -mm. If you say God is a man, 
Then tell me who is God's father. That's right. And if you say Teman is the father of God, then that will make Teman here before the Creator. That's right. Now I know that you fellas are caught up in science. Yeah. And you would want to approach me from a scientific perspective. Mm -hmm. Bring me science. Mm -hmm. I will bring you God. That's right. I said there's nothing, nowhere, mm -hmm. on the four corners of the universe Amen. that's greater than God. That's right. Now, one religion said God is a man and another man is his father. Another religion said God is a human being right. and Mary is God's mother. That's right. That's right. That's what they say. Mm -hmm. Let's see what nature did God say he is. In St. John chapter 4 and at verse 24. We're going to let God talk about himself. That's right. You see, God in his eternal infallible wisdom wouldn't allow no ethnic group to identify themselves with him. That's right. Or he be identified as being a certain ethnic group. God Amen. don't do that. No, no. Because that would give that ethnic group some form of mental and emotional superiority. That's right. That's right. God want everybody to bow and serve him. Everybody. Are you listening? That's right. Now, someone said, well, Pastor Jennings, I read where we are gods. I'm going to go there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to straighten you out. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes, that's written. Yes. But we want to straighten that out also. That's right. All right, let's go to work. Follow me. St. John chapter 4 and at verse 24. What is it? God is a spirit. God is a black man. God is a spirit. God is a white man. God is a spirit. You that are watching me, you get that cross with that white fellow on it out of your house and out of your church. That's right. You that are watching me get that cross with that black fellow on it out of your house and out of your church. Amen. Get it off. That's right. The holy book says God is what? God is a spirit. There was God is eternal. That's right. My God, he made the earth by his power. That's right. He established the ends of the earth. Mm -hmm. God is not begotten. No, no. God has no age. That's right. No age. God cannot die. That's right. Mm -mm, not God. No, no, no. God don't sleep. No. That one say Jesus slept. That's right. But God didn't. Not God. That's right. No to God. That's right. <laughs> Do you get what I'm telling you? Amen. Jesus, the Messiah, the prophet, the apostle, he was begotten. That's right. And God was in that begotten body. That's right. And That's then right. that body just functioned in the title and in the name and in the power of God. That's right. But God was in Christ, in Christ Jesus. Jesus. That's right. God was not a carpenter. No. 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 No, God no. is a master builder. Behold, God is great. Do you hear this? In Job chapter 36 and verse 26. God never was a salesman. No. God never sold scarves. No. Never. From the Middle East. No, he didn't. No, God didn't do that. No. No. You see, when you tell me something about God, you got to go to the book of scripture That's and right. read it. That's right. Your religions, mm -hmm. stop trying to belittle God. Amen. Stop trying to take his strength and his greatness and deprive him of it. Right. My God, he come made the sun. That's right. Made the moon. Amen. Hang the earth on nothing. Mm -hmm. Stretch forth the north over a empty place. Right. And come along and lay the beams of his chambers in the waters. In the and waters. the prophet said he ride upon the wings of the wind. That's right. God is great. The holy book says what? Behold, God is great. God. 
is great. And we know him not. That's the problem. That's it. There's a lot of jumping. There's a lot of shouting. There's a lot of, amen, falling out. But the world don't know him. Give That's chapter it. and verse for this. In Job chapter 36, and we're at verse 26. God is great. God is the greatest. Allah hu akbar. That's right. That's, That's right. Arabic. Allah hu akbar. God right. is the greatest. That's right. That's Man right. is not the greatest. No. 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 I was watching an interview with the former world heavyweight champion Muhammad Ali mm -hmm. and he was repenting mm -hmm. he was repenting he was saying how he was a fool when he was young mm -hmm. he said he was wrong to say he was the greatest That's right. Muhammad Ali was repenting he said I was wrong he said I was young brash right he said, but I was wrong in my statement. He said, there's none great but God. He said, God is the greatest. He said, not me. He said, I believe my sickness is because of my arrogance. Right. He said, God afflicted me and showed me and let me know there's none great but him. That's right. Amen. 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 The whole world. Amen. You got to bow to that's God. Bow. That's right. That's right. That's what I'm sent for. That's right. To call the world attention. That's it. To God's word. God. Amen. Amen. This is a wake up call. Oh yes. Sounding the alarm of heaven. That's right. Ringing in the earth. That's right. We are determined mm -hmm. not to allow nobody. Go ahead, brother. To come along late and mm -hmm. they gonna belittle God. That's right. Muhammad That's right. Ali admitted. He said I was young and brash. Mm -hmm. It's wrong for me to say mm -hmm. I am the greatest. Right. He said, yeah, I believe that this affliction come from God. Mm -hmm. It's my trial. Yeah. He said, if I'm I, if I was the greatest, why can't I beat this? That's right. That's right. That's right. No man is the greatest. No man, no. No woman is the greatest. No, no. The saying is true. Allah hu akbar. That's right. We believe it. That's right. There's none greater than God. Amen. There's none equal to God. That's right. There's none better than God. That's right. Everything else is lesser than yes. God. Amen. Amen. Talk to me. Amen. That's right. God is great. This is what have happened to religion. That's right. Johnny come lately, lead us. Mm -hmm. Come on the scene. Amen. I want to make themselves God. Right. Johnny come lately, lead us. Lead us. Come on the scene. Mm -hmm. I want to make themselves equal, equal to God. That's right. God say, who is my equal? That's right. Say of the Holy say One. The Holy One. There's none equal to him. None equal, that's right. God don't have to try That's to right. do nothing. No. God don't have to overcome nothing. nothing. See, we got to overcome. That's right. The reason why we got to overcome because that means we got to struggle. Right. With something. Amen. I don't want a God that struggles. Amen. I don't want a God that's weak. That's right. I don't want a God that have to try. That's right. I want a God that speak and make it happen. Make it happen. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. That's right. That's right. Amen. Only God can bring the non-existence mm -hmm. into existence. That's right. It ain't no man fashioned water. No, no. Huh? No, no. Here come the prophet talk about the greatness of God's vision mm -hmm. and called it lightning. Lightning. And said lightning is harder than a rock. That's right. And he atomized it. Mm -hmm. And then it says how the Lord is a son. Right. Now listen. Mm -hmm. I had a discussion when I first had it with the nation at Frankfurt Avenue. One gentleman came and said, he, he pitched a quarter That's right. on a pulpit. That's right. right. He said, that's my God. That's my Lord. Your God is a quarter? A quarter. My Lord. He said, there is no power greater than him but another man. Mm. 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 Touching the Almighty. 
He the one told me I'm preaching spookism. Yeah. Yeah. The book says in Job chapter 37 and verse 23. Follow me, viewers. Touching the Almighty. T concerning. See when it says touching, mm -hmm. you can't take it literally. No. Concerning means concerning. That means concerning mm -hmm. the Almighty. What do you mean? I'm about to give you some information That's about right. the Almighty. That's right. Listen. Touching the Almighty. What is it? We cannot find him out. <laughs> You go to school, yeah. but he's deeper than any university. That's right. You go to Bible college. That's right. God is deeper than your dean. That's right. You got PhDs and DDs and masters. That's right. God is deeper than any paper. That's oh right. yes. Amen. Still can't figure him out. That's right. That's right. You try to measure heaven, mm -hmm. he's higher than that. Higher than that. Hell is bottomless. Mm -hmm. He's deeper than he's that. Deeper than that. He said he's broader than the sea mm -hmm. and longer than the earth. Amen. Who by searching mm -hmm. can find out God? Find out God. Man tried to imitate or mimic God. Right. So man called himself all type of titles. That's right. That's right. Man called himself Messiah. Mm -hmm. Years ago. There was a false prophet in the 1930s called mm -hmm. Father Divine. That's yeah. That's right. The moment a man say he's Father Divine, he said he's God. That's right. But there's only one Divine Father. That's right. Hmm? Amen. Father Divine mm -hmm. is dead. Right. That's right. He's he dead. So he's not so divine. No. No, no. You men that are watching me. Mm -hmm that are leading millions of all these kind of religions mm -hmm. that have made yourself some eternal entity that's right. <laughs> that's right. some great divine source divine one. Amen. the whole earth Amen. was made for God's glory that's right you was made to live for him obey him serve him and one thing you have in common that you don't have in common with God mm -hmm. death death that's right. That's right. We are gods. Mm -hmm. In St. John chapter 10. Ye mm -hmm. are gods. Ye are. That's right. Let's explain this. St. John chapter 10 and we're at verse 34. I, I want to talk about God for a little bit. If Amen. you don't mind. Amen. If you do mind, I'm going to talk about him anyway. That's right. Listen. Jesus answered them. Jesus answered them. Is it not written in your law? Is it not written in your law? I said ye, or, ye are gods. I said ye are gods. If he called them Hold gods. It. Let's talk about that. Talk about that. Right. Ye. Ye are God. Are gods. Mm -hmm. Ye are gods. Ye are gods. <laughs> In Psalms 82 and at now, verse 6. Now, even Satan That's right. had this knowledge. That's right. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Back in the Garden of Eden. Mm -hmm. He informed the woman that they ye eat thereof. Mm -hmm. The Lord know you shall be as gods. As gods. That's what he said. That's right. So when it says ye are gods, it doesn't mean you shall be equal to the creator. No. Let's go to the book of Genesis. Son of Adam, I this. In Genesis chapter 3. Glory take God, get me good. And we'll begin at verse 3. What is it? But of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden. Yeah. God has said ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch God it. God said you shouldn't eat it and you shouldn't touch it. Lest ye die. And lest ye die. And the serpent said unto the woman. The devil said to the woman. Ye shall not surely die. That's that lying spirit. That's right. That lying spirit. That's right. He want to water down the truth. Mm -hmm. He want to contradict truth. Right. You, you see the way the devil's like this. He bring truth and then integrate it with the lie. That's right. You won't surely die. For God doeth know. Now he come with truth. Amen. God truly know. That in the day in the day thereof. You eat thereof. Then your eyes shall be open. Your eyes shall be open. And ye shall be as gods. Ye shall be as gods. And what did that mean? Knowing good and evil. That's what that means. That's right. That's what it means. 
That's right. Eh? That's right. Glory to God. Ye shall be as gods, meaning now you shall be able to have knowledge of good and evil. And evil. That's right. What do you mean? You're going to come into the knowledge of yourself. That's right. You're going to have a self-knowledge. That's right. Huh? That's right. Now let's go back to what the apostle said. First, let's get the prophet David, the prophet. if you will. In Psalms 82 and at verse 6. I want every man that think he's God like the God of heaven right. to realize That's right. you're weak. That's right. You're feeble. Amen. You get sick. Mm -hmm. You got to use the bathroom. <laughs> That's right. You need to eat. That's right. You take Tylenol. Amen. You can't sleep, you take NyQuil. That's true. You drive, God don't need a car. No. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. God don't need a car. No, don't, don't need it. The earth is the Lord, everything is his. That's right. Yeah, these folk walk around from different religions claiming their leaders are God, the God of heaven. God of heaven. And here, the leaders got to pay rent, got to <laughs> pay right. mortgage, right. they got to pay taxes. Right. And some religions, their leader was thrown in jail. They arrested God. <laughs> That's right. That's right. And now God doing a 30-year stretch. <laughs> Amen. The God of heaven don't need a lawyer. That's no, no. It is written that we have an advocate with the Father. That's right. He's a counselor. Go right there, God. He's a counselor. He's a, that's right. And God, listen at what the word said. Psalms 82 and at verse 6. Listen at Brother David. I have said ye are gods. I have said ye, ye are, are gods. gods. And all of you. All of you. Are children of the Most High. That's what that means. Right. Because the children of the Most High will have the knowledge of good and evil. That's right. That's Ye it. are Your gods. gods. What do that mean? Amen. That don't mean ye are black. No. No. no, no. no don't right. That right. don't mean Jesus. ye are white. That's right. That's right. Ye are gods. gods. Ye are gods. Meaning the reflection of God, the characteristics of God, the wisdom of God, the laws of God, the precept of God, the behavior of God are to be manifest That's right. in his people. That's right. That's right. That when I see you, I see God shining out of you. That's right. Ye are gods, meaning my body belonged to him. Amen. Like like Alright, take God, my mind belong to him. That's right. My hands belong to him. That's right. That's why God say, touch not. Touch not. That's right. Why? You belong to me. That's Handle right. not. That's right. Go ahead. You are God. I have said you are gods. Yes, sir. Hmm. I don't mean you are five percenters. No. No. Oh, no. That don't mean you made heaven. <laughs> That's right. Mm -mm. The black man always exists. No man. No man. Always exists. No, no. There's only one that's eternal. That's, that's right. And that's God. That's right. I want to say, well, where is that at? I'm about to take care In of you Psalms right now. 90. After you get 90, give me the, 20, the 12th chapter of Ecclesiastes. Mm -hmm. Let's see where the dust is going back. That's right. Listen at this. First in Psalms 90, beginning verse 1. Everybody all right? Amen. Amen. Listen. Lord, thou hast been our dwelling place in all generations. Lord, you have been my dwelling place. In all generations. Ain't no man can be a dwelling place in all generations. No. Why? Generations die. That's, That's right. right. And then other generations come back. That's right. But Lord, thou hast been know ye the Lord. Place. That he is God. He is God. Lord, thou have been our dwelling place. Our dwelling place. In all generations. In all generations. Before. Glory to God. Before the mountains were brought what forth. What man formed the mountains? Man Amen. Forth, let me hmm? Amen. Let me meet the man that created the mountains. That's right. The book says before. The mountains were brought forth. Before the mountains was brought forth, God was here. Or ever thou hadst formed the earth and the world. Before you formed the earth? Wait a minute. That's right. That's right. Before the earth was? Amen. Amen. No earth, but there was God. That's right. That's right. 
So I want to say what well, God had to make the earth so he can live there. You can't contain God. No, no. No, no. God is bigger than the earth. That's right. My God, he lets you know how small earth is to him until he call it his footstool. That's right. Footstool. That's it. There's something to rest on. Amen. Listen. Before the mountains were brought Before forth. Before the mountains were brought forth. Or ever thou hadst formed the earth. Or ever thou hadst formed the earth. And the world. And the world. Even from everlasting. Even from where no time exists. To everlasting. To where no time will ever be. Thou art God. No limit on. No limit. That's right. Some say, well, wait a minute. If God is not a man, mm -hmm. why God addressed himself as he? He. That's right. You can't be a spirit and be called he. Mm -hmm. The book says, when he. he. When he. Listen. In St. John chapter 16 and verse 13. Give, give chapter and verse. St. John chapter 16 and at verse 13. You can't be spirit and be called he. You can't. My Lord. Listen. How be it when he. How be it when he. The spirit. The spirit of what? Of truth. That's God. Amen. He will guide hey, you. It didn't say somebody going to come with the spirit in them. No. no. Oh, no. That's right. It didn't say that. When he. When he. The spirit the of truth. The spirit of truth. Is come. Is come. He will guide he, you. He. The spirit going to guide you. Into all truth. He going to bring you into the complete knowledge of himself. That's right. He. He. Shall glorify me. He, do you hear that? That's right. This is all about God. That's, That's right. right. No man. No man, no man made the heavens and the earth. No, no. You Catholics that say, Hail Mary, the mother of God. Mother. Mm -hmm. God don't have a mommy. No, he doesn't. God never was breastfed. No, no way. God never wore pampers and diapers. No, no. Eh? Amen. Glory take God, not God. Not God. Like when the Messiah was born, mm -hmm. when the Messiah was born, the Messiah was a prophet. That's right. God never was a prophet. No. A prophet is sent by God. That's right. And things are revealed to a prophet. That's right. If something is revealed to you, you didn't always know it. Know it. That's right. God know all things. That's right. That's right. My God, the body of the Messiah wasn't nothing more than working clothes. That's it. So God can work in. Who has that? He right? utilized that to redeem man back to him. That's right. Because man was contrary and hard head. Go ahead. And it took a sacrifice to atone for your wickedness. That's right. So the apostle said, heaven was searched. Mm -hmm. What you looking for? My God, I got the final remedy. The final remedy. So heaven was searched. Mm -hmm. Earth searched. Earth was searched. That's right. And he went down Under. underneath, the, underneath earth. the earth. And that that was it. That's right. Still couldn't find nobody worthy. That's right. To open the book mm -hmm. and loot the seven, seven seals, seals thereof. John said, I crowd about that condition. That's right. I ain't got until the elder came and got my attention. That's right. And said, John, listen, weep not. Weep you not. stop that crying. That's right. I saw someone coming. That's right. I saw him. I said, Behold, the look. Lion of the, tribe of the of lion of the tribe of Judah. The root of David. The, who? The root of David. What? The root of David. Hold it. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. The root Hallelujah. of David. Hold it. Amen. Before you can be a root, you gotta be a seed. That's right. Hey? That's right. And before roots can come from that seed, you gotta be planted in dirt. That's right. The book says, Have not the scripture have said that mm -hmm. Christ cometh of the seed of David, David out of the town of Bethlehem David where David, David was. was. That's right. And here comes God, the Spirit, being called husband man. That's right. Husbandry is farming. That's right. The That's right. eternal God plant that seed. That's right. All that flesh. Amen. All that shape. Amen. All that body. Go ahead. All that minister Go ahead. in the house of David. That's right. And Mary's body was dry ground. Dry, that's right. For he it was a root out, of dry, out dry ground. of dry ground. Out of dry ground. Paul said, it's quite evident. That's right. That our Lord sprang out of Judah. Sprang out of Judah. That's right. 
The body of the Son of God consists of flesh and blood. That's right. And that flesh and blood was not God. No. Let me contradict all of you devils. Mm -hmm. You say God became man. That's right. God never. Never, never, never became a man. That's right. God made a man Amen. and then took the man on That's right. that he made. That's right. And when he was finished with the man, Amen. he stepped out of him That's and right. pulled him off. Pulled him off. That's right. That's right. That's it. God? Give me John mm -hmm. one and one. St. John chapter one and that verse. Then we one. get the book of Revelation. Amen. I want to see who's riding on that white horse. That's right. Clothed with the vexion. Go ahead. I want to strip it down and take it apart. Amen. Notice what the apostle John teaches us. St. John chapter one and that verse one. Listen. In the beginning. In the beginning was the word. Hold it. Amen. Ignorant men say the beginning of God. No, you can't be eternal and got a beginning. No. In in the beginning. The beginning was the word. What do you mean? Word. Usage of words. Go ahead. Was brought forth to bring the non-existence into existence. That's right. In the beginning, speech introduced the beginning. That's right. Words. The English grammar, you have nouns, predicates, mm -hmm. synonyms, mm -hmm. antonyms, yes, pronouns, yes, adverbs, right. verbs. Mm -hmm. Are you listening? In the beginning. In the beginning was the word. Was the word. Speech ignited the beginning. That's right. That's right. Speech introduced the beginning. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Amen. Amen. God was dwelling in the thick darkness. That's right. Glory to God. That's right. God always was. Always. So he separated the light from darkness and called the light day, day. and the darkness night. Night. Mm -hmm. Putting time upon it. That's right. So here you have in the beginning was the, the word, word. Mm -hmm. and the word was with God well, that don't mean somebody else is with them no who's with God mm -hmm. a little junior God a little, mm -hmm. why do he need another God with him that's is right. he crippled that's right is he handicapped? handicapped and then you got the audacity to tell me he's the almighty but all of a sudden he needs some help to create something my lord the word was with God simply means he's a God of his word. That's right. When he speak, things just got to happen. Got to happen. Huh? That's right. See, he go along and tell you in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, meaning he's a God of his word. And who is the word? And the word was God. Same one, sir. Same one. Same one. The word that introduced time, mm -hmm. the voice that spoke it. That's right. That was God. That's right. The word was God. was God. The speech was God. That's right. The order of things was established by God. That's Not right. Not by some man. No, no. The same was in the beginning. The same was in the beginning. With God. With God. All things. All things. Were made by him. By them. Him. No, he had a partner. All things were made by him. How much? All. Oh, hey, things. that include man. That's right. That's right. Man was made by him. That's right. Black men, white men, yellow man, red man, and mm -hmm. amen. That's right. All things. All things. Were made by him. You see, that's why God said, "Ye are gods." He made you so you can reflect Him. That's right. Not for you can take it literally and think that you're the Almighty. Amen. All things. I, I, I preach in prisons throughout America and I've met men that take that scripture literally that ye are gods right and told they told me Pastor Jennings I can do anything <laughs> well you shouldn't be in jail amen I, God you should be able to get out when you're ready that's right huh? that's right you can do all things and then you shouldn't be following no guard back to yourself no you have took this scripture and ran amen. with it with and it. the devil duped you the devil tricked you that's right every man under the sun is limited in ability amen only the eternal God of the universe can do all things that's right 
What did he say? All things were made by him. All things, everything was made by him. And with and listen, including the devil. That's right. That's right. That's right. All things. All things. All things. He said, I create good mm -hmm. and not create evil. That's right. Devil wasn't made by a man. No. Devil ain't come out of a laboratory. That's right. How foolish. Go ahead, brother. Devil didn't come out of a tube. No, no. That's foolish. Or it take God that devil is in a whole lot of folk. That's right. Isn't it? That's right. Listen. All things were made by him. All things were made by them. Him. Them. By him. They. By him. Everything was made by him. All things were made by him. And what? And without him. No, without them. Without him. Without them. Without him. With the, read that right. You got glasses, don't you see? And without him. Without them. Without him. Bring your God here, world. That's right. That's right. You that are watching around the world, bring, him. bring your God here. Bring him here. Amen. Amen. Some of you got to dust your God off. That's right. Some of you got to shine them up. Shine them up. Some of you, your gods need some pointing. <laughs> Submit right. fell out of him. That's right. That's Some right. of you, your God's got bird droppings on it. Amen. And he can't clean it off. He can't get it off. Some of your gods need a steam wash. That's right. Glory to God. Amen. All things were Some made. of you, your gods is on your shelf. Yeah. In the yard of your house. The yard. Some of you in your home bowing to a picture, tapping your head. That's right. And I guarantee if that picture was to say something, you wouldn't have no head. No, you wouldn't. You would run out of there. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? They have mouths. Listen, listen at this. In Psalms 115, and we'll start at verse 4. Let's see how the prophets crush idolatry. Their idols are silver and gold. Their idols. Or silver and gold, you that are listening and watching in India and Pakistan and right. Afghanistan and Malaysia and other parts of the world and the Philippines mm -hmm. that have these idols for gods. Amen. Throughout America, you have made your leaders God. That's right. When a man walk in a building or come in a country, nobody should bow to him. Nobody. That's right. Nobody. Nobody should bow. The Pope is not that great. That's right. The Pope is not that important. That's right. That the knees of the human race Go ahead. should bow to that mortal man. Amen. That's right. He ain't that great. Not that great. No, it's not. Huh? That's right. Glory to God, the word says what? Their idols are silver and gold. Your idols are silver and gold. The work of men's hands. The work of men's hands. They have mouths. They have mouths. But they speak not. My viewers. Amen. Why are you bowing to statues? Oh, yeah. You that are listening in India. Mm -hmm. You that are bringing coconuts. When I was in India, I watched the uh, Hindus mm -hmm. bring sacrifices to their gods. That's right. Over three million gods in one country. My Lord. Over three million My Lord. in one country. My Lord. I watch sincere people mm. bring apples, mm. pineapples, coconuts, mm -hmm. nuts, bananas My Lord. to their God. My Lord. Then I watch the intelligent monkeys <laughs> sit there and wait. <laughs> Right. Huh? That's right. Why the monkey know that God ain't gonna do nothing with it. Do nothing with it. The monkey sit back. My Lord. And the moment the people got gone, the monkeys came, ate the sacrifice. Lord. Listen to me, viewers. Amen. You are not to bow to no image. No image. That's right. That's right. We don't bow to pictures. No. Images. No, no. Stone. That's right. Clay. That's right. Nor flesh and blood. That's right. Listen. They have mouths, but they speak not. Eyes have they, but they see not. Listen. You mean they tell me I'm going to be praying to an image and they can't even see me? Can't see you. 
you let me be somewhere and a statue turn his head and start <laughs> talking. Amen. When I was coming up, I remember watching a movie called Jason and the Argonauts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, them big old statues start moving. Amen. You let, and you find how the devil blind people. Yeah. They lie, bleed in statues. <laughs> That's right. A statue that cries. That cries. A statue that shaves his beard. My Lord. A statue that used the bathroom. My Lord. Why he never used the bathroom with other men? <laughs> Amen. Why he only used the bathroom at night? All at night. Right. Amen. <laughs> Lord help him. You want to make money? All you got Amen. to do is tell a lie. That's, That's right. right. Got a statue in your house and say, you know what? The statue cry. You will get all the media in the world. Yes, you will. And then start selling tickets to make money at your house. That's right. Hey, Amen. So you can keep your mortgage up. That's right. This is how blind and gullible people are. Amen. Listen. Eyes have they, but they see not. Eyes have they. Mm. The prophet Estrus talked about this and itemized it. That's right. Eyes have they. But they see not. Thank God I have to get that because he really itemized what they're doing. Mm. They have eyes but see not. They have ears. They have ears. But they hear not. That means your idol God cannot answer your prayer. That's right. You down there praying to Mary. You down there praying to Saint Michael, Saint John, Saint Jones, and Saint Bobby and Saint Tommy and Saint Catherine. They can't help you. No, no. Mother Teresa can't help you. That's right. You got to call on God. That's right. Call on God, the living God. That's right. The Pope cannot make saints. That's right. The archbishops ahead, do not have the power to make saints. That's right. It is written. Right. God will keep the feet of, of his saints. saints. Right. Ain't no such thing. You become a saint after you die. No. The dead know nothing. That's right. If you don't live right to please God while you're living, you're gonna get prepared to hell after you die. That's right. Glory to God. They have ears. They have ears. But they hear not. Hear not. Noses have they. Nose have they. But they smell not. Amen. Why don't, hey, why don't your statue that you bowing to, why can't it smell the bird droppings? That's right. Hanging all over his face. Amen. Dripping from his nostrils. That's right. Amen. So he can't even move his clay cement hand yes. and go in the inner place that's right and get all the droppings out that's right am i right noses have they you have a nose but they smell not you can't smell they have hands they have hands but they handle not that's right amen have you noticed every time you go pray to your god it's in the same position yes. that's right they come three years later still there you came there when you was 12. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you come back 24. That's right. That's right. You come back 65. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when are you going to wake up? Amen. Amen. Human family, human family, you're mighty ignorant. That's right. When are you going to wake up? Amen. Well, Pastor Jennings, I love Jesus. He didn't tell you to put him on a cross and wear him around your neck no. and put him in your house no. and put him in a church. No. Get no, that clay trash out of your church. Get him out. That's right. Over to God, I wish I had an image. I would love to do some harm to it. That's right. Listen to what the word of God said. They have hands, but they handle not. They have hands, but handle not. Feet have they. Feet have they. But they walk not. You're just like the Israelites. Right. Here is great Jehovah, mm -hmm. great Yahweh, mm -hmm. the Lord God of the world, That's right, sir. brought them out the land of Egypt and delivered them from the hands of Pharaoh. That's right. And here is Moses or Musa up on the mountain. Mm -hmm. God Almighty laying the commandments to him. That's right. Israel rises up to play. Mm. Israel came along and made a calf. Made a calf. Made a calf. And after they made a calf in those days, right. they said the calf. Mm -hmm. I mean, let me show you how you are, viewers. Right. Israel said the calf brought them, brought them out the land of Egypt. Let me show you how dumb that was. Mm -hmm. They was already out the land of Egypt when they made the calf. That's right. That's right. 
They wait till they get out, right. then say, uh, the calf brought us out. Amen. That's exactly what you're doing. That's right. Here's the world been here. Amen. Then later on, you said God was born. God was born. That's right. The world been here. And then later on, you say, well, God was born. That's right. God is here before the world. Oh, yes. Listen. They have hands, but they, they have handle hands, none. But can't handle nothing. Feet have they, but they walk not. Feet have they. But they walk not. Neither speak they through their throat. How big is God? He's bigger than you. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> How wide is it? He's wider than you. Amen. <laughs> Glory to God. In the book of the wisdom of Solomon. Listen at this. In the book of the wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14. What is it? And we're at verse 14. Come on, son. For by the vain glory of men. Listen. I want you viewers to listen at this. Give chapter and verse again. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14. And we'll start at verse 14. By the vain glory of men. They entered into the world. They came into the world. And therefore shall they come shortly to an end. Yes. For a father afflicted with untimely a mourning. A father that's afflicted with untimely mourning, meaning grief hit him, caught him mm. off guard. That's right. Unexpected. Mm. Uh -huh. When he has made an image of his child. When he made an image of his child. Soon taken away. Now, wait a minute. See, the father lost his child. Right. Child is dead. Mm -hmm. So to keep himself in remembering what the child looked like, he mm -hmm. make an image. Made an image. He make a statue. Mm -hmm. And like sometimes you got a photo album of your children. Yeah. That's right. That's it. You see in the Old Testament, the Lord God says, make no image of me. That's right. That's why no one can sculpture God no. and say he looked like that. No. That's right. That's right. Nobody. That's nobody. You can't sculpture God. No. Because you can't scope to someone that's higher than heaven. That's right. Deeper than hell mm -hmm. and broader than the sea. Where would you begin? That's Amen. Right. Where would you start? That's right. Here the book says the clouds are the dust of his feet. What size would you make his feet? That's right. The clouds are the dust of them. The dust. What size would you make his feet? Mm -hmm. Amen. Hmm? Amen. The book says, out of his mouth mm -hmm. come up the two-edged sword, and his teeth is white like milk. That's right. But you take it literally. Amen. So That's some right. nutter come along and have two blades protruding out of his mouth Amen. and give him a good smile. That's right. <laughs> Why? God Almighty talks in symbolic terms. Mm -hmm. To better understand it, viewer, in the study of Egyptology, mm -hmm. The history of the Egyptians. Mm -hmm. They left their history yeah. written on the pyramids, right. written on columns, mm -hmm. written on walls. Not in the alphabet we have today, no. but it was written in symbols, right. shapes, Lines. images, mm -hmm. signs. It is called hieroglyphics. hieroglyphics. And you got to have someone that's a master in interpreting right. the pictures. The signs, That's right. the hieroglyphics. That's right. The scriptures have divine hieroglyphics. Mm -hmm. Not only that, hieroglyphics is used today, mm -hmm. That's right. even in the world. Yeah. Don't want to say no, it's not. Oh yes, it is. Mm -hmm. You got to be able to read hieroglyphics before you can get your driver's permit. That's true. <laughs> That's right. Huh? That's right. You got to be able to read the signs. Read you got to recognize that sign to be able to know that traffic merging on the left. That's right. Ain't no words written there. No. It's an image there. Right. It's a sign right. that you know traffic merging in the left. That you know that the lane's about to split. That's right. There's a sign. You got to recognize it. Yeah. Hmm? That's right. Got to know what it meant. Slippery and wet. That's right. You got to be able to recognize the sign. That's right. What it means. Then be able to define it. Listen to what the book says. When he hath made an image of his child, when he made an image away, of his child that died, now honored him as a god. What now? Mm. That's what you viewers have done. That's right. That's why you got these old little dirty statues around your churches called Jesus. That's right. That's right. Made out of clay, mm -hmm. made out of plastic. Mm -hmm. Some of you, your Jesus, the paint is peeling off of it. That's Amen. Right. Amen. A paint peeling Jesus. That's right. That's right. Amen. Mary baby died. Oh yeah. And you made the baby God. That's right. You hear what it says there? And and his child soon taken away. The child soon taken away. Now honored him. Now you honor the child as a God. 
That's right. That child was not God. No. Why? God don't grow. That's right. And God don't learn. No. The Bible said Jesus grew in wisdom and in knowledge and in favor with God and with man. That's right. The spirit that was in that body or in that child, that was God. That was God. That's why when he died on the cross and yelled up the ghost, the God that was in him came on out of that body and it was the spirit of the living God that descended to the lower parts of the earth. That's right. That speaks to the spirits that was in prison. That's right. Huh? And his child soon taken away. This child soon taken away. Now honor him as a God. Now you honor him as a God. Which was then a which, dead man. Which was what? Which was then a dead man. Now hold that and let me show you this. Mm -hmm. St. John 3.16 and then first epistle of John 3.16. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Glory to God. I want to show you what the preachers have made a and lie. Made a lie. Mm -hmm. Give me first epistle of John 3.16 first. Mm -hmm. Let's get that and straighten out the lie they first, told on God. First John chapter 3 and at verse 16. What is it? Hereby perceive we the love of God. What's the subject? God. Hereby perceive we or understand we God's love. Because he, because he laid down his life for us. Right then the priests have said for years that mean God died. That's right. That mean God died because he laid down his life. Well, you overlooked a certain word says there. Mm -hmm. It says his life. His life. His life. That's right. His life. His life. He's making a declaration of ownership. That's right. He owned something. That's right. Now you got to find out who was it that he owned. That's right. What was it that he owned? Right. And when was the life laid down? That's right. St. John 3.16. St. John 3.16. What is it? For God so loved the world. The eternal creator loved humanity. That he. That he. Gave his own only begotten son. His only begotten son was his life. That's right. Huh? That's right. He laid down his life, his meaning life. he laid down his son. He laid down his flesh. And when the Bible says Go his ahead. son, that don't mean that the creator of the world has sex with a woman. That's right. Teach it, brother. It don't mean that. Teach it. Teach it. It don't mean that. That's right. No, Jabril didn't come to Mary and had sex with her. No. No. No, no. The I, God of heaven didn't come to Mary and had sex with her. That didn't say Lord, it take God just like God Almighty formed Adam from the dust of the ground and brought him forth from the dust Go of ahead. the ground. He went back to the Go dust ahead. of the ground and formed the second Adam and brought him forth from the dust of the ground. That's right. That's right. That's right. Glory to God. What you talking? That's right. What did he say? We caught back in 1 John 3 16. What is it? Thereby perceive we Thereby the love of God. Thereby understand we God love. Because he because laid down, who? He, he laid down his life. God is spirit. You can't kill God. No. No, no. You can't kill God, but he laid down his life. His life. For us. For who? For us. When did it happen? In St. John 3, 16. Says what? God so loved the world. That's, that's for us. That's right. Huh? That's right. The world is to us. That's right. That he laid his life down for. That's why he says, for us. The us is the world. God so loved the world. God so loved us. That's right. <laughs> that's right. That's, that's right. what that is. Amen. God so loved us. That he, what did he do? That he gave his only begotten son. That's his life. That's his life. His only begotten son was that body of flesh and blood. That's right. The term begotten doesn't mean that God Almighty has sex with a woman. No, no. No, no, no. Uh-uh. No. God ain't having sex with nobody. That's right. I want to say that very clear to you overzealous, crazy Christians. Go ahead. Who talk about, I make love to That's Jesus. Right. That's right. Jesus don't love you that much. No, no. He Amen. don't want you in bed with him. No. Am I right? Then said Mary unto the angel. Mm -hmm. You crazy overzealous folk. Yeah. I just make love to Jesus. Oh, no, you don't. No, you don't. Mm -mm. You may wish, but it ain't happening. <laughs> That's right. That's foolish talk. That's foolish talk. That's going beyond what the book said. That's right. Just stay within the boundary of the book. That's right. That's right. 
All right, listen, don't try to make God like he's some flesh and blood fellow like you are. No. That flesh and blood that came out the house of David of the tribe of Judah mm -hmm. was the flesh and blood that God worked in. That's it. He worked in that body. That's right. And when he worked in that body, that body fulfilled its course, then the body died, uh -huh. and then the eternal God that made the world got back That's in it. that body mm -hmm. and glorified it. That's it. He promoted it. Promoted it. He elevated it. That's right. He transformed it. That's right. And gave it a nature that it functioned by that it never functioned before. before that's right let it function by all spirit Amen. and got rid of all the blood that's right which was the former life mm -hmm. eh? that's the right the blood was the former life mm -hmm. and the spirit took the place of the blood mm -hmm. listen wherefore god also has highly exalted do you hear that in philippians chapter 2 and verse 9 highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name what is it that at the name of jesus all right you men mm -hmm. that claim you're god that's right if you're god why why your name ain't above his. That's right. You walk around names uh, Jack and you know Jill and Jason and uh, Azizel and uh, Amen. That's right. All type of names. Amen. Ain't no one can be saved by your name. No. And giving him a name which is above his name every is name. Above every name. That at the name of Jesus. Wait a minute. The mm -hmm. book says what God did what? And give it. God did what? Give it him a God name. have highly exalted him. Wherefore God also has highly exalted him. Who did it? Him. God. Who did it? God. That's the subject. And what did God do? Also has highly exalted him. And that same God did what? And given him a name. God did what? Given him a name. See, the name Jesus is a given name. That's right. And it was given from God. That's right. Mary didn't name her son. No. No, no. Mary didn't name her son. That's right. Let me show you that he had the name of long before he was born. Give me Luke. Go and say, God, give me Luke, the second chapter. That's you right. better move quick, son. That's right. That's My right. God, I'm building a good house by God's permission. Amen. Give me Luke, I believe, 221. Luke chapter 2 and verse 21. Listen. And when eight days were accomplished. When eight days were passed. For the circumcising of the for child. For the circumcising of the child. His name was called Jesus. His name was called Jesus. Which was so named which of the was angel. So named of the angel. Before. When before. When before. When before. When before. Before what? He was conceived in the womb. Before he ever got to the body. That's right. That's right. Before he got to the body. Before he was conceived. He already had the name. That's right. Huh? Amen. Well, the question is, where did he give it? That's Paul right. already told you that God had highly exalted him That's right. and give, give him, him a name. name. Now, when name. you was given to you, you inherited. That's right. Give the first chapter, chapter book of Hebrew. And at verse 4. Listen at Hebrews chapter 1 and verse 4. Being, set, being made so much better than the angels. What? Being made. Thank God. No. Oh, no. Being made. God is not made. That's right. God is spirit. That's right. The son of God or the man of God or the Messiah right. that was made. That's right. As a separation. Mm -hmm. Don't say this like you're preaching too. I ain't preaching no two gods. No. I'm talking about a nature that is human and a nature that's, that's divine. divine. That's right. God is in me. That's right. I'm not divine. That's, that's right. Divine is in me. That's Amen. I'm human. That's right. And the human is not the preacher. No. The divine is the preacher. That's right. The human is the puppet. That's right. The divine That's is right. the puppet master. That's right. That's right. The divine pull the string. Mm -hmm. Make me move. That's right. Make me tell you you're going to hell. Amen. Huh? Amen. Make me tell you there's one way. That's right. There's one law. That's right. And there's one lawgiver. Amen. Amen. I'm just a puppet. That's it. The God, the right. God of heaven. Puppet master. That's right. That's why he make you speak in tongue. That's right. The master. That's right. And the spirit give utterance. Amen. Master, get in your mouth. Amen. Shift it any way he want. That's it. Ah, That's right. Glory to God. Go ahead. He said the holy men of God speak as they were and they were moved by the Holy Ghost. You got to be moved by the, by the master. Ghost. That's right. Glory to God. Amen. Do you hear what it's Hallelujah. Being what made. Say? Being, being made. made. So much better than the angels. God is not made. No. God always was. That's right. Go ahead. God laid down his life, meaning he laid down that flesh That's that it. Mary birthed into the world. That's right. That was his life, his son. The word his son simply means his servant. That's it. His minister. That's right. His apostle. Mm -hmm. His student. That's right. Huh? Being made. Glory to God. That's exactly what it means. That's right. But the book says, now are we the sons of God. Now are we the servants of God. That's right. 
Glory to God. That's right. Huh? Being made, being made so much better, so much better than, than the angels, than the angels, as he has by inheritance, as he have by inheritance, obtained a more excellent name than they. And let's see who gave it to him. Mm -hmm. Back, Go back in, to the book of back, Philippians. Back in Philippians chapter two, yes, sir. and at verse nine, now he, it says he inherited that name. That's right. Who gave it to him? Wherefore God also has highly exalted him. And giving him a name. And giving him a name. Which is above every name. And what is the name? That at the name of Jesus. That's it. That's the name. That's it. At the name of Earl. That at the name of Jesus. At the name of Bobby. That at the name of Jesus. Go ahead, brother. At the name of Jennings. That at the name of Jesus. At the name of Muhammad. That at the name of Jesus. At the name of Farad. At the name of Jesus. At the name of Moses. At the name of Jesus. Abraham. Jesus. Isaac. Jesus. Jacob. Jesus. Paul. Jesus. John. Jesus. James. Jesus. Peter. Jesus. No, Mary. Jesus. Mary. Jesus. I said Mary. Jesus. That's right. At the name of Jesus. Pope John Paul. That at the name of Jesus. Pope Benedict. At the name of Jesus. It's good teaching, brother. What should everybody do? Every knee should bow. You bow to anything else. Get up. Get up. Get up. That's right. That's right. Amen. We recognize no one as God but the God of heaven. Amen. Amen. Glory right. to God. That at the name of Jesus. What should, hallelujah, what should everything do? Every knee should bow. You bring your God here. Amen. I make anybody's God in the world. Lick it up. Lick it up. That's right. Bring That's me right. any statue, any image, and bring me a man or a woman. That's right. And declare yourself to be God. Amen. And then show me what you made, what Amen. you brought into existence. Amen. Without using any material here. That's right. That's right. The Lord brought the non-existence into existence. Amen. Speaking, everything just moved. To whom then will ye liken it? It is written, he by the clap of his hands. Heaven and earth stood together. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Amen. It is written that, that his eyes is 10,000 times brighter than the sun. That's right. And hear these little weak things that catch syphilis and AIDS and gonorrhea right. and everything else. And you talk about your God? God, my Lord. <laughs> to whom then will ye liken me? God wants to know. Mm -hmm. Who will you compare him to? Or shall I be equal, saith the Holy One? Say if the holy three. Say if the holy one. No, the holy, the holy three in heaven. The holy one. The holy three. The holy one. One, two, three. Holy one. One. That's There's right. just one God here. Who hath directed the spirit of the Lord? Listen. In Isaiah 40 and at verse 13. All right. Listen at this. Who hath directed the spirit of the Lord? Who direct? What do you mean? Who's God's boss? That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Who? Who oh, tell God what you should do, what you should not do, when you should do it, how should you do it? No, who tell God that? That's right. That's right. What man? Right. can direct the wind no amen. amen someone said well wait a minute Jesus did it that man did it no he didn't no, he you're didn't. wrong there Jesus said peace be still right. yes he did say it no, and he didn't say it that's right I just want to toss that at you toss that out the man was simply used to rehearse what the inner man said. That's right. Don't you hear that man said, I do nothing. Of myself. I do nothing. Nothing. That's I right. want to get that and certify while we lay brick here. That's nothing. right. I do nothing. nothing. Of myself. Now let's see where he was on when the wind was bolstering mm -hmm. and the waves was tossing. Amen. Jesus made it clear. Give chapter and verse. St. John chapter 8 and at verse 28. What? Then said Jesus unto them, when ye have lifted up the Son of Man, then shall you know that I am he. Yes. And that I do nothing of myself. I do nothing of myself. But as my father but hath But as me, the spirit. Hath taught or me. as the creator. Mm -hmm. Or as the inner man. Right. Have guided me. I speak these things. Then now, I talk. Now in Matthew chapter 14. Notice. As the spirit have taught me. That's right. I speak. These things right. as the spirit have guide me, I speak. These things I speak. That's right. 
I would, what you mean? I speak the, whatever God want that body to say. That's I'm right. going to say. That's right. Now listen at the speaking of the spirit in a body. In St. Matthew chapter 14 and we'll begin at verse 26. Listen at this. But straightway Jesus spake unto them saying be of good cheer. Be of good cheer. It is I be not afraid. I don't be afraid. And Peter answered him and said Lord if it be thou. Lord if, if it's you. Bid me come unto thee let me come on, the water. Let me come on out to you on the water. And he's. And he said, come. Wait a minute. Let's back up and see what he was doing that caused Peter to say that. Back at Matthew chapter 14 and verse on, 23. All right. And when he had sent the multitudes away, he went up into a mountain, a part to pray. Real quick. And when the evening was come, he was there alone. Yes. But the ship was now in the midst of the, the sea. The ship was in the midst waves. of the sea, tossed with waves. For the wind was contrary. Yes. And in the fourth watch Notice. of the night. Yep. He's giving you a weather report. God, he's giving you a weather report here. What did he say happened? And in the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went unto them walking on the sea. What did he say happened? But straightway Jesus spake unto what them. What was the condition of the waters and the wind? But the ship was now in the midst of the sea. It was in the midst of the sea. Tossed with waves. Tossed. I want to establish the condition of things. Right. The ship was being tossed. Tossed with waves. With waves. For the wind was contrary. The wind was contrary. That's right. The wind got stubborn. Yeah. Hmm? It was contrary. Mm -hmm. All right. And in the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went unto them. He went to them. Walking on the sea. He did what? Walking on the sea. Well, notice those tossed waters didn't af affect him. No. All right, read on. And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled. They were, hey, I'll be troubled too. Mm -hmm. Why? A man can't walk on water. No. Unless it's frozen. That's right. But the water wasn't frozen here. No. The winds were still tossing, or rather blowing, and the waves were still tossing. That's right. And here's Jesus walking on water. But remember, Jesus said, I do nothing of myself. He said, I do nothing. I do nothing of myself. But what was he doing here? Walking on the sea. But Jesus said what? I do nothing of myself. But what was he doing here? Walking on the sea. But Jesus said what? I do nothing of myself. But what was he doing here? Walking on the sea. That body was a puppet. That's right. Yes, sir. That's all it was. That's right. Guided by the Spirit of God. That's right. Spirit guided that body on the water. Read on. I do. And when the disciples, when saw, him the disciples the sea, saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled. They were troubled. Saying, it is a spirit. They, they said what? It is a spirit. That's, listen, they thought that what they was looking at was spirit. That's right. But the spirit that they saw or that they didn't see was in them. That's right. But the actual shape they looked at, they thought that was the spirit. And it wasn't. That's right. The spirit was in them. Mm -hmm. Listen. Saying, it is a spirit. It is a spirit. And they cried out for fear. They cried out. They were scared. That's, but straightway Jesus spake unto them. And said what? Saying, be of good cheer. Don't worry. It is I, be not afraid. All right, read quick. And, G and Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it be thou, bid me Let come. Let me come on out the water with you. And he said, come. And when Peter was come down you out know, of the ship. You know, when the waves was tossing in the and the wind blowing Jesus spoke to the wind that's right on one occasion and said peace that's right what you mean salam right peace salam salam prince of peace prince of salam that's right peace peace be still be Still, right. but remember, I don't do nothing of myself. myself. Well, how in the world are you telling the wind to stop blowing? Mm -hmm. But I do nothing of myself. Uh, that's right. But yet you tell Lazarus to come forth and he come out. That's right. And then you tell me you do nothing of yourself. That's right. You walk on water, you raise the dead, you declare I'm the resurrection and I am the life. And yet you can't do nothing on your own. That's right. And they came to him. Give chapter and verse. Now in Luke chapter 8 and verse 24. Says what? And they came to him. They came to him. And awoke him. And the what? And awoke they him. He didn't wake God. No. <laughs> they didn't awake God. No, they didn't. So I said, well, wait a minute. They did wake God because 
Jesus Christ was God. That flesh and blood was not God. What was in him was God. That's right. That's right. The Messiah was asleep. God was awoke. That's right. I want to say, where is that at? The Bible plainly stated the eyes of the Lord run, run to, to and, and fro throughout mm -hmm. all the earth. Yeah, all the earth. That's right. But what stage was the Messiah in? That's right. He fell asleep. To let you know that's not the spirit that was asleep. Right. Don't you hear the prophet Elijah? Maybe your God is sleeping. That's right. <laughs> and need to be awakened. That's right. Maybe he's on a journey. That's right. Maybe he's traveling. Mm -hmm. That's right. God Almighty, stay awoke. That's right. That body. Don't you hear the book say without controversy, great is God's mystery. That's right. God was manifested in the, in the flesh. flesh. In the flesh. That don't mean God became flesh. No. When you're manifested in something, mm -hmm. it means you work in it. That's, That's right. right. Amen. Pastor Jennings is manifested in his suit. That's right. right. If my jacket start moving and I'm not in it, I'm running. That's right. That's right. Take it back. God, I had to put my suit on. That's right. So I can work in it this afternoon. Mm -hmm. That's what God did. That's right. Came along and went to the house of David That's and right. put a suit on. That, and took Some working him. clothes. That's right. And he called the working clothes a servant. That's right. And the working clothes, listen, my suit got to fall. Right. That's right. That's right. It has to fall. Right. I got to put it on. Right. My suit don't have behavior of its own. No. My suit do nothing of itself. That's right. But as I work in it, right. then it got to move. That's right. My, 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 my sleeve move. That's right. What's in it move? That's right. My pants leg move. That's right. Because my leg move. That's right. That's all the Messiah was. Yes. A flesh. Mm -hmm. He was a suit. Mm -hmm. Until Paul said he was a veil. A veil. That's right. Went to the house of David. It slipped into a veil mm -hmm. to fit the spirit right. and it took on the shape of man. That's right. And then he used that shape that man can identify with to That's redeem right. man back to him. That's right. Huh? That's right. Glory take God. Do you get what I'm telling you? Amen. What he took on was not God. No. What he took on was a servant. Took upon him the form. He took upon him. That's right. He took it on. Amen. The form. Of a servant. Of a servant. And was made. And was made. In the likeness that of That flesh and blood was custom made. That's right. By heaven. Amen. That God was telling me, telling me, that's right. Telling me, Vaughn, that's right. Made so perfect, it didn't have no sin. That's right. That's right. <laughs> that's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. Come on and made it so perfect, He left all the sin out. That's right. You understand? Amen. All perfect and infallible. infallible. Just use it to bring man to Him. That's right. His body was equivalent to an umbilical cord. Mm -hmm. It was designed to connect outer life to eternal life. That's right. Go ahead, go Everything ahead. you need to get fed, you go had ahead. to get it from him. That's right. That was an umbilical cord. Go ahead. That's why he said, no man come to the father except, except by, by me. By a child, when it's in the body of the woman, can't eat no. until the mother eats. That's right. Amen. That umbilical cord shows life is connected. Right. And the mother life is greater than the life of the child. That's right. The life of the spirit is greater than the life of the flesh. That's right. Did you get what I'm telling you? Go ahead. Go ahead. Glory to God. What did he say? Back in Luke 8 and at verse 23. What did he do? But as they sailed, he fell asleep. What? But as they sailed, he fell asleep. As they sailed, Jesus, the son of man. Mm -hmm. Son of man means son of a prophet. That's right. What you mean, son of a prophet? No prophet laid with the mother. No. Some of the prophet mean he came out the house of a prophet. That's right. It is written of a throne of his father, David, David. there should be no end. No end. David was his father. Mm -hmm. And yet what was in Jesus was David's father. That's right. Come on, son. But as they sailed, he fell asleep. As they sailed, he fell asleep. And there came down a storm of wind there on the lake. There came down. There came down a storm of wind. On the lake. On the lake. And they were filled with water. They were filled with water. And were in jeopardy. And what? And they came to him and, and awoke him, and saying, Master, Master, we perish. Master, Master. We perish. Master, we gonna die. Then he arose. Then he arose. And rebuked the wind. And chastised the wind. And the raging of the sea. And the raging of the sea. And, and they ceased. And there was a calm. Now, he spoke to the wind. Mm -hmm. Rebuked the wind. He rebuked it. That's right. But yet Jesus said, I do nothing of myself. But what happened? He did what to the wind? He arose and rebuked the wind. But yet Jesus said, I do nothing of myself. But who do it? 
He arose as my father, as my father has taught me, as my father has taught me, or as my father do well offend me. I speak, he doeth the work. That's right. As the spirit that the world in me, he do the work. That's right. Why you think he tell us apostles? Mm -hmm. It ain't you that speak. What you mean? You ain't a preacher. That's right. <laughs> That's right. He told us apostles, it ain't you that are preachers. You, speak. you can't take the credit. No, no. It's not you that speak who you think you are. That's right. The voice of my father speaketh in, speak in you. You need the spirit of the God spirit. to talk in you. That's it. That's right. I've been telling you, take God to make a preacher. That's right. That's right. And then after God make the man, then God get in the man, and then God speak out the man. Out the man. That's it. You fellas come along and say you God. Go create a planet and get in it. Amen. No man mm -mm. alive today Amen. is the Lord of the world. No, no. No man. No man. God is infallible. That's right. Go back to the book of the wisdom of Solomon. Mm -hmm. I want to increase some more on this idolatry. Amen. God being perfect, infallible, flawless. The creator of all things and the creator of all men. Mm -hmm. He is perfection. That's right. He don't have to overcome nothing. That's right. He don't strive to do nothing. That's right. That's right. He just do it and it's done. Mm -hmm. God has no beginning. Right. God has no ending. No ending. God never was born. Amen. God can't die. Mm -hmm. God don't. Pray. That's right. Don't say, wait a minute, Jesus prayed. The flesh prayed. The spirit don't need prayer. No. Anytime you pray, you pray into a source higher than you, and you need that source to help you. That's right. That's right. Why you think when the son was born, Gabriel told Mary, he shall be called the son of the highest. highest. Of the highest. Son of the highest. Right then, he lets you know there's a nature higher than what's being born. That's right. Son of the highest. There's a life. There's a life that's greater. It's greater. This life that's being born was a temporary life. That's right. It is written, those things that are seen are temporal, temporal. but that which is not seen, that's eternal. That's eternal. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. Come on, son. Back in the wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14, and at verse 15. Yes. Now honored him as a God, which was then a dead man. Get the whole thing. For, for a father afflicted with untimely mourning, when he hath made an image of a child soon taken away. Yes. Now honored him as a God, which was then a dead man. Yes. And delivered to those that were under him ceremonies and sacrifices. Now, you that are watching, mm -hmm. there are some ethnic groups and some religions that have celebrations for the dead. They have it in Mexico. Yeah. That's right. Big celebrations for the dead. That's right. Sometime when a person died, they have a very large funeral. Mm -hmm. And then they try to put the drunk in heaven. Amen. Right then, some reverend got the drunk in heaven. Right. Sitting somewhere near Jesus. That's right. Hmm? That's Big right. Big celebration. Come on, son. And, and delivered to those that were under him ceremonies and sacrifices. Yeah. Thus, in process of time. In, in, the, in the process of time. An ungodly custom. Grown strong was kept as a law. This what happened. Mm -hmm. As a result of man making idols to commemorate the dead. Right. A result as man making idols and images just to commemorate the dead. An ungodly a custom. Ungodly custom came about. That's grown strong. It grew strong. Was kept as a law. And it was kept as a law. That's why in some religion it is law and it's doctrine to pray to images. That's right. You Hindus be praying to a fertility god and some other god. When I was in India, the ministers at the first church in uh in India, no, in the island of Mauritius, where there's thousands of Hindus mm -hmm. and our brothers was former Hindus mm -hmm. they took me to the Hindu temples and the first idol God I saw oh my God he was tall mm -hmm. 
but uh, he was behind a glass wall and there was a bell on the outside and the gentleman said you gotta ring the bell I said why he said because this is the God that sleeps and you gotta ring the bell to wake him up my Lord Suppose he's exhausted and just don't want to get up, then what? That's right. <laughs> Ungodly custom. Ungodly custom. You should not have in your home pictures or in your churches pictures that's supposed to be Jesus. That's right. Or supposed to be of some angels. Mm -hmm. Or supposed to be of Mary holding a baby who you claim is Jesus. That's right. Oh, that is a lie. Amen. That's right. The holy book says what? Thus in process of time, an ungodly custom. A ungodly custom. That's why you can see in the hospitals, they got chapels and always got images there. That's right. And people come down there holding the feet of the statues and crying, asking Mary to intervene. Let me tell you something. Mary is dead. Mary's dead. Don't know nothing. That's right. She is helpless. That's right. She have no power. Mm -hmm. God Almighty have never had a mother. No, never. And God don't have have a daddy. That's right. Glory That's right. to God. Listen. Thus in process of time, an ungodly custom. The ungodly custom. Grown strong. It grew strong. Was kept as a law. It was kept as law. And graven images were worshipped by the commandments of kings. Did you hear that? Amen. Graving images were worshipped by men's commandments. Whom men could not honor in presence. They couldn't honor in presence. They, because they dwelt far off. They dwelt far off. They took the counterfeit of his vices from far. And what? And made an express image of a king whom they honored. Men are making statues of living men today. That's right. And now they are making that statue as a God. As a God. When you bow to anything, mm -hmm. bowing is a show of total submission. That's right. I pledge my allegiance. That's right. That's it. This is why we don't pledge our allegiance to a flag. That's right. Listen at me, viewers. Mm -hmm. Some of you may say, oh, I know that man went crazy now because he ain't patriotic. I most certainly am not. That's right. You ain't watching no patriotic man. No. I pledge my allegiance to God. That's right. You that are watching me, your children that go to school, mm -hmm. when they stand up to pledge allegiance, mm -hmm. let your children stand up. Mm -hmm. But you teach your children. Don't put their hand on no heart. That's right. They want to stand up? Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Don't say nothing. Amen. No hand on your heart. No. We pledge our allegiance to no country. That's right. How you going to pledge your allegiance to a country that allowed two men to get married? Amen. Oh, yeah. Are you listening to the old man? That's right. That's right. The holy book says what? They took the counterfeit of his vices from far. They took the counterfeit of the vices far. And made an express image of a king. Made an express image of a king. Whom they honored. Who they honor. To the end that by this their forwardness they might flatter him that was absent. Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. Flatter him that was absent. As if he were present. What do you mean? They make an image omnipresent. That's right. They make a mortal man today eternal. That's right. When you die, mm -hmm. you go to the grave. Go to the grave. Hmm? That's right. I don't care how many people you lead. I don't care how much power you think you have. If you're able to grow grass out of your ears, hmm. I guarantee you when you go to the ground, the insects going to cut that grass. That, yes, they will. Huh? Then shall the dust. Do you hear? In the book of Ecclesiastes. Hey, Mr. Man, you puffed up, high-minding, beer-guzzling, woman-chasing, party-loving thing, you. That's right. Listen at this. In the book of Ecclesiastes. You dancing Christian. Amen. Listen. Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 7. Let me show you where you are. Then shall the dust. Look at you. Amen. Dust that wear wigs. <laughs> Dust that wear ankle chains. That's right. Lipstick wearing dust. Mm -hmm. Earring wearing dust. Amen. Homosexual dust. That's a right. Dyke, a dyke, a dusty dyke. That's right. That's right. A dusty dyke. Amen. 
a dusty homo. Amen. You dusty bigot. That's right. Dust. Huh? Dust. That's all you are. Dust. All the churches and mosques and synagogues. Amen. When the Lord God appear in the heaven yeah. and ignite heaven and earth. That's right. He gonna burn creation down. That's right. That's right. Your imam won't be able to help you. No, uh, no. Your rabbi mm -hmm. won't be able to help you. That's right. Your elder, your bishop. Bishop. Yo slick head reverend. Amen. Yo manicured nail reverend can't help you. No, no. Your Jerry Curl head preacher won't help you. That's right. Joel Austin will, and that smiling, will That's not right. soften the flames of hell. No, it won't. No, it won't, sir. Amen. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? Amen. You fellas walk around and keep partying and dancing and acting like a fool. Then the moment you get sick, you want Jesus. That's right. You better give God your life while you got strength while and while you have life. That's right. That's right. Go ahead, brother. The holy book says what? Then shall the dust return to the earth. You're going to die one day, sister. Amen. Brother, you're going to die one day. You millionaires that are watching me, I don't care how much money you have. No. Millionaires are already dead. Show me one where George Lincoln or Ben Franklin got him out the ground. That's right. You died and left your money behind. Mm -hmm. Amen. Huh? Then shall the dust. Your bars of gold didn't get you out. No. Some of you died and done got big, large tombs and lavish caskets. That's right. Walls decorated in gold and diamond engravement. Mm -hmm. And here you laying there stinking. Amen. Laying in there. Big old crypt, and you laying there stinking. <laughs> That's right. Huh? That's right. Worms eating up a so called rich man. Amen. Are you listening? Yeah. Come on. Then shall the dust. I want to show you that you're nothing. Nothing. God is everything. That's it. We're nothing. That's right. That's I right. just want to show you, you that think you're so cute. Mm -hmm. You think you're God gift to women and God gift to man. You ain't nothing, nothing. but a pile of dust that's right. switching your hips into hell. That's it. And that's all. That's all. That's right. You cigarette sucking and big guzzling and cocaine snorting thing. Go ahead. When you die, Go ahead. you're going to stand before God. That's right. Where are you going? Then shall the dust return to the earth. Your mama that's can it. hold your hand and sing over you all she wants. Yep. Hold your mama hand while you're dying. Mama, hold my hand. Mama, I can't see you. It's getting dark, mama. Sing me a song about Jesus. That's right. Read me a scripture. That's right. She reads you something that don't hurt you. That's right. She reads the Lord, my shepherd. My shepherd. That's right. I shall not want. Amen. All of you mothers who you know your child live like a student of hell. Mm. If they want you to read a scripture before they die, mm. here's my recommendation. Amen. Amen. Here's my recommendation. Mm. Give me the 16th chapter book of book of Mark. Mark. Mark chapter 16 and verse 16. Here's my recommendation to all of you hellions. Mark chapter 16. Hellions. <laughs> That's right. Things that want to live like the devil out of hell and then don't want God until you about to die and leave here. Amen. Then all of a sudden you want to make a declaration, I'm a Christian. You's a hellion. That's right. The word of God says what? He that believeth and is baptized. All right, you that's dying full of liquor, mm -hmm. full of cigarettes. Amen. Girlfriends lined all around your bed. That's right. Wants to know who's going to take care of the babies that you left them. That's right. Here it is. He that believeth. He that believeth. And is baptized. And is baptized. Shall be saved. Shall be saved. But he that believeth but not. But the unbeliever. Shall be damned. You're going to hell. That's it. Read that to them. He that believeth and is baptized Here's shall be saved. the scripture we recommend. Right. You'll be baptized and obey God, you'll be saved. But he that believeth not. You don't believe. Shall be damned. But he's dying. Shall be damned. But he hold his mama's hand. He that believeth not shall be damned. But the priest is sprinkling some water around him like smoked turkey. He that believeth not shall be damned. <laughs> but he's holding bees while he in the bed yelling, Hail Mary, full of grace. He that believeth not shall be damned. Them bees won't help you. No, they won't. Thank God the bees not even real enough to help you. <laughs> That's, right. That's right. You hold a chain. Amen. 
God don't put power in bees. That's right. No. That's right. Power in his words. I want to shake your foundation. That's it. The reason why God wants this to be, he wants the whole world mm -hmm. to trust him. That's it. That your confidence in rabbit foots and bees and lucky charms like you got confidence in a box of cereal. That's right. Full of surprises. Amen. Amen. Purple hearts, <laughs> yellow moons, That's and right. green horseshoes. That's right. <laughs> That's right. You get what the old troublemaker is telling you. Right. Amen. The book says what? He that believeth not shall be damned. Hmm? Amen. You walk around now like you're not going to die. God proves to you, fella, that you are not God. That's right. He proves it to you. He proves it. My God, that's why when something happened to you, you start crying out to God. That's right. Hmm? Amen. You walk around all tough and all bad and all sharp and cussing everybody out, uh -huh. thinking you bad with your hands and you can hold you on. Yeah. My moment you get in jail or get shot. Mm-hmm. Jesus. That's right. Moment you hear your breathing start changing. That's right. That's right. I, I don't know who you are up there. That's right. oh, I don't yeah. know your name. The man upstairs. The man upstairs. That's right. I want to talk to the man upstairs. That's right. Please. That's right. Please. That's right. Please. That's right. Save me. That's you know why? He no hell waiting on him. Wait, right. Amen. He knows you now. <laughs> he no hell waiting on him. That's right. I don't care how much of a Christian your mom and daddy is. Mm -hmm. Children, Amen. you don't know big God hell waiting on you. Hell waiting. That's right. That old reverend can give the nicest sermon he can give that he want. Mm -hmm. That ain't gonna help you when you die. One die for this fool. That ain't gonna help you when you die. That's right. Amen. Some of you silly crackheads and beer guzzling. Here's your friend get shot down mm -hmm. and you stand at the grave site and pour liquor yeah. over his coffin, you fool. That's a fool. And you done something honorable. That's right. The last thing you do to me is pour whiskey all over my face. That's right. I'm right. not honoring that. Amen. That's my homie, man. That's my dog. Hmm. My dog laying there, man. Want to show our respects. He's already going to hell. You ain't got to wash him down there. That's right. That's right. That's right. Some of you are so ignorant, you throw little bags of cocaine yeah. down, in down in hell. You think the grave diggers gonna let that stuff get away? <laughs> no, Thank no. God, the grave digger. By the time he done snorking that stuff, he gonna be digging graves for folk that ain't even dead yet. That's right. He just gonna be digging. <laughs> That's right. Huh? That's right. Cocaine got him doing it. Amen. Amen. Here you are getting older and you still doing the same dumb Amen. thing you've been doing since you was 13. Amen. Hanging out on the street, drinking, smoking, and gambling, Amen. running and doing everything you want to do. Go ahead, go ahead. Ain't made no changes. No. Just becoming an older, older fool. Amen. And now you want young women to think you're not old, so you dye your hair. That's right. That's right. That's right. Now you hear all you want, you old fool. Old fool. When you stand before God, yes. and He gonna knock all that black dye out of you. That's right. That's right. Get what I'm telling you? Amen. Wear your wigs, get your Botox in your face, yes. get your plastic chest and your rubber hips. Go ahead. But when you stand before God, Go ahead. and that rubber wax it melt away. That's right. When your right. body start waxing away. Waxing away. The world make a fuss mm -hmm. when a celebrity died. Yeah. When Michael Jackson died, they put him in heaven. Yes, they did. Princess Diana died. Mm -hmm. Nothing but a British hoe. That's right. <laughs> Well, she was looking for love. Anytime a woman is married and she's chasing men, she's a hoe. That's right. That's right. Well, she's a queen. Queen hoe. That's right. Royal, royal, royal. That's a royal hoe. Amen. 
I don't take it back. No. We'll sue you. Come and get me. You don't see me ducking. That's right. That's right. That's right. Tell the truth. Go ahead. You call a spade a spade. Go ahead. Amen. Go ahead. There are many of you that are here and that are watching me. Some of you fellas been doing the same thing since you've been born. Mm -hmm. All you do is party all night, party. club every weekend. Mm -hmm. And then just go to some church on Sunday to feel relieved. That's right. A choir sang and a pastor, it massages your sin. Yeah. Right. Then when you die, they march you in on going up yonder. Hello. That's what they did to Michael Jackson. That's yeah. Right. That's right. All that moonwalking. Then they march your men on going up yonder. That's right. Where is the yonder? Where is it? God don't care nothing about your celebrity status. No. Who in the world is greater than him? That's right. Who in the world is better than him? Amen. Who in the world is more powerful than him? That's right. Amen. That's right, bro. Look at the way God had it. Go ahead. The king and the poor man got to stand before God. That's right. You blind white bigots Go ahead. that can't stand black folk. You blind black bigots that can't stand white folk. Right. When both of you die, of you got to stand before the same God. That's right. That's right. You low lowlifes that call yourself Christian clansmen that hide under your underwear, Amen. hide under a sheet, and you blind one that's in the Black Panthers talking about black power. Yes. There is no power, power but that but which is God. ordained of God. That's right. Amen. That's the power that we have. That's right. That's right. You mean to tell me the only power you got is in the fist? My Lord. No power. There ain't no power. No. You white sheep wearing bigots. Amen. The only power you got, I see these white bigots mm -hmm. yelling white power. Right. You's a white fool. That's a fool. You black bigots Amen. yelling black power. Mm -hmm. Why you's a black fool? For there is oh, no power. Do you hear this? In Romans 13 and verse 1. What is it? There is no power. Oh, yeah, it's a little bit power. No power. Black power. No power. White power. No power. Yellow power. No power. Brown power. No power. The White House. No power. Parliament. No power. Amen. Amen. I told you. For there is God no power. rules. That's right. God is the boss. That's right. You're going to answer to him. Amen. Right. Your gold, Amen. your car collection, That's right. That's your right. mansions. Mm -hmm. That don't impress God. No, no. When God get ready, he kill you. That's right. And then all that stuff you glory in, mm -hmm. you don't have now. You don't have it. That's right. That's right. They just set aside a day to honor your absence. That's right, That's it. But that day don't bring you back. No, no. Come on, son. For there is no power but of God. You know, this is some good, tough stuff. Oh, yes. There's what? There is no power but of God. There is no power. That's right. But of God. The, the, the powers that be. What did it say? The powers the that be. The powers that be. Are ordained of God. That don't mean the power that violate God. No. White power. That's right. Black power. Mm -hmm. Brown power. Yeah. You are discolored fools. That's right. That's right. White man hate a black man because he's black? Because he's black. A black man hate a white man because he's white? Mm -hmm. Only white folk gonna be in heaven. <laughs> My Lord. Years ago, white folk used to say only they gonna be in heaven. And if there's any black folk gonna be there, they gonna be in the kitchen. <laughs> My Lord. Angels frying chicken. My Lord. <laughs> yeah, that's what a lot of big old bigger white folk you just had. My Lord. Racist mentality. Racist mentality. Yes. And then some of you blind black people, you come along, <laughs> only one gonna be in heaven is all black. All black folks. God is not ignorant. No. After this I beheld. Listen. In Revelation chapter 7 and verse 9. Thank God I want to hit as much as God moved me to hit. After this I After beheld. After this I looked. And lo, a great multitude. A great, no, a great black multitude. A great multitude. No, a great white multitude. A great multitude, which no man could number, of all nations. No, just black folk. Of all nations. 
Amen. Do you hear? Of all there ain't no nations. black power in here. No. There ain't no white power in here. No, no. The only thing in here is the power of God. That's, That's right. right. That's right. Amen. Why? That endure forever and ever. Yes, sir. Amen. The holy book says what? Of all nations. Of all nations. And kindreds. And kindreds? And people. People? And tongues. All the different languages? Stood before the throne. They all stood before who? Stood before the they throne. Stood before God. And before the Lamb. And before the Lamb. Clothed with white robes. Clothed in white robes. And palms in their hands. And palms mean they got victory. That's right. Huh? That's right. Palms in their hand mean they got victory. They was victorious. God brought them through the battle. That's right. Huh? Amen. That's what that is. God brought him through the battle. And cried with a loud and voice. And cried with a loud voice. Saying salvation and to the, our God. Listen, the prophet saw the same thing. Mm -hmm. When he saw in the Old Testament, the book of Esther, he saw the crowd gather. That's right. And there was one among them that was taller, was taller or than higher than every man. That's right. <laughs> Glory to God. That's Didn't right. they say so? That's right. He was taller or higher than every man. That's right. The reason why he was taller because he was highly exalted. He was superior. Vincent. King of kings. That's right. And Lord of lords. That's right. Right. Notice the book of the prophet Esther. Esther chapter 2 and at verse 46. Second Esther. Second Esther chapter 2 and verse 46. Read quick, son. Then said I unto the angel. Then said I to the angel. What young person? What young person? Is it that crowneth them? Is this that's crowned them? And giveth them palms and in their hands. And give them palm in their hands. So he answered and said he unto me. He answered and said to me. It is the son of God. It is the son of God. Whom they have confessed whom in the world. Whom they have acknowledged in the world. Then began I greatly then to commend them. Then began I greatly to commend them. That stood so stiffly. That stood stiffly. For the name of the what Lord. What you mean? They endured. They were sound. That's Standing right. stiff mean they were sound. That's right. They were stable. That's right. Stiffly mean they were sound. Set fast. That's right. They were settled, mm -hmm. unmovable. Stiffly mean they didn't compromise. Go ahead. Stiffly mean they held on to what was written. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm standing stiffly. Stiffly. And what's written here? That's right. That's not right. moving. That's right. Not bending at all. Go ahead. What did he say? Then began I greatly to commend them. I began to commend them. That stood so that stiffly. That stood so firm. For the name of the Lord. For the name of the Lord. Then the angel said unto me, Go thy way. You go your way. And tell my people. You tell my people. What manner of things. What manner of things. And how great wonders of the Lord thy God thou hast seen. Do you see that? Amen. And the Apostle John saw the same thing. Same thing. All, nations, all nations, all languages, all tongue and kindred. That's right. And you fools talking about black power, white power. My Lord. You can see the different uh, ethnic groups picketing, mm -hmm. holding rallies. Mm -hmm. Talking about let's bring the country back to its original stage, all white. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. And, That's right. And then they quote from the Constitution, we the people. Mm -hmm. For the people. That's right. By the people. Yeah. My Lord. Well, you're going to meet God, America. That's right. And the rest of the world. The of the you're world. going to meet God. Yeah. This going to church because it's Sunday, not going to help you. No, no. The truth of God is the telecast that God ordained to call your attention to his way. That's right. You want to know what God wants you to do? Mm -hmm. You watch the truth of God. The, that's right. You want to know how to obey God? Mm -hmm. Stick with this. That's right. It'll put you on the right track. Amen. You may not like it, but at least you're on the right track. That's right. It may hurt you, that's but right. it'll put you on the right track. That's right. It may offend you, but it'll put you on the right track. Amen. These are the religions. Sugar baby. Yes, they are. Your pastor is a sugar daddy. That's right. And makes sugar babies. That's right. That's why you love to go to them churches where you get to run around the church. Run around the church. Like you suffering from ulcers. Amen. That's right. <laughs> That's right. They're running around the church. No truth is preached. No. No. God want to make a people. He ain't trying to make a black people or a white people. No. He want to make a holy sanctified people. people. Thank you for listening, brothers and sisters. Amen. Now, we cover quite a bit of ground today. We bear witness only God himself is the supreme one. He have no rivals. He have no partners. We associate none with him. To some, I sound mean. 
ignore what I, the way I sound or pay attention to what we're telling you. If you know you're not a bigot, then my white brothers won't get offended. If you know you're not a bigot, my black brothers won't get offended. If you get offended, you know you're a bigot. When we preach against homosexuality, you know you ain't gay, you won't get offended. But if you get offended, you know you're a faggot. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right, sir. Huh? That's right, Glory to God. Amen. This evening, God willing, we'll be back at the headquarters temple. Who can give me the correct time, brothers? 320? Thank you very much. Uh, we'll be back. Anyone who desires to be baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus and get your sins washed away. If you bow your head and raise your hands and did all that junk, you ain't saved. You're still in your sins. You went in some church and held some preacher's manicured hands and tell you don't pray the sinner's prayer. No such prayers in the scriptures. You've been duped. You've been conned. You've been bamboozled by a hustler. You went to a Catholic church and hid in the closet because the priest wanted to get to you. You said seven Hail Marys. And then you went to an upright toilet bowl and the preacher threw water on your head. You ain't never been baptized. If you are a member of the house of prayer for all saints, Daddy Grace, and you got a fire hose shooting water on you, you ain't baptized. You know, when I was little, we was in the hood, we turned the fire hydrant on. In the summertime, to cool off. And that's pretty much what you've done. You must repent of your sins, meaning you must be godly sorrow for your sins. Sorry about them. And when you are sorry about your sins, I mean be sorry about them. Not just say, I am sorry. True repentance comes from in here. In here. Anybody can say, I'm sorry, but really don't mean it. Repentance is something you feel. You got to feel that remorse. Then you're ready to go down in water. And be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. You cigarette sucker, you need to do that. You dyke, you need to do that. Some of you men here that's wearing pants today, but you're going home and put your dress on, you need to do that. That's right, that's right. That's it, brother. You're on the down low. In fact, you're too low. That's right. Am I right, men? Yeah. Am I right, I say? Yeah. Talk back to me. Too low, sir. Way too low. Or it's a God, you're a little bit too low. Too low, sir. <laughs> you're on the down low. If I got any gay men here, you're welcome. Come on, you, you come on in here. This is where you need to be. Oh, dear God, if you got any sugar and spice and too much nice, come on in here. This gospel we preach will toughen you up. It'll give you calluses back on your fingers. And make your hands all rough again. Bring ashiness back to your knees. <laughs> you understand? It'll pick you up, change you and convert you. I had many folks write me. I, I think you got some men there on the down low. Probably do. Probably do got some fellas around here that got some spice in them. That's all right. Thank God we're going to take all your spicy canisters and empty them and fill them all up with salt. Jesus said salt is good. Salt is good. I ain't going to treat you no different than anybody else. I'm going to talk to you and preach to you and preach repentance to you and baptize the flower. That's right, Thank God so the water can cause them to wither. That's right, That's right. Yeah. You get what the old troublemaking is telling you. Amen. To my guests, we thank you for taking the time out to come and not go to your devilish church today. That's right. And don't go next week. Don't go back. In fact, don't go back again. Don't go back. You know the churches that is in Chester and Exington, you know they of the devil. You know your pastor is not a preacher. Because if he was, he'd be preaching the same thing that you hear us preaching. There's only one truth. There's only one message. And that message for it to be right, it got to come from the book. Not some of it, all of it. It got to come out the book. It don't come out the book, it's no good. So I want to say to you that are here, come out of your churches. 
Repent of your sins. Yes. Be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Humble yourself, tough man. You see, if you're so tough, you can fight off death. Hmm? See, can you jab at the death angel when he changed your breathing? When your heart started getting irregular? See, can you fight that off? The whole world need God. Even if you don't like what I'm saying, look at your neighborhoods. Look at our neighborhoods. My God, our young people are dying like flies. Our single young sisters are becoming mothers at 12. Young men or young boys becoming fathers at 13. Can't even aim straight at a toilet. That's right. Can't even afford a roll of toilet paper. But yet our young girls, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, now pregnant, babies having babies. Young boys being sodomized, being turned into homosexuals. At 10, 11, and 12. By the number. I was watching Oprah, I believe, a few weeks ago, interviewing a young white young boy. She asked him, When did you realize you was a homosexual? He said, When he was seven. He knew it was something different about him. I heard men say that it was a the girl was down inside of him. There was a girl inside. No, that was a feminine spirit inside. It's a spirit. Are you listening? So if I got any men struggling with a girl inside. Hmm? Amen. Did Stephen have Stephine inside? That's right. If Dan have Danielle inside. <laughs> if Brian have Brenda inside. <laughs> if Raj have Regina inside. That's right. Glory to God. <laughs> this message will put you on the right track. Amen. Whatever you're struggling with, this message will help you. Amen. Don't run from it, run to it. Amen. Yes, it's tough. Do you know sin is a tough thing? You can't deal with sin going to church and all the preacher doing it. <laughs> Bad sinner. <laughs> Bad sinner. No. You need something that's going to hammer you. Hit your heart. Sin is a tough thing, isn't it? You young men, look at your fingertips, how brown they are. Smoking. Look at how your eyes are changing color from liquor. Look how black your lips become from smoking. For what? Killing yourself. Who are you killing yourself for? If I had to do this, man, that woman, man, she just messed my head up, man. <laughs> Dog, I just can't help it. You You know, that woman got me on the bottle. You mean to tell me you, the woman got you killing yourself? And then when you dead, she's still gonna be alive and get the next one. That's right. That's right, sir. Get yourself Think, get yourself together. That's right, sir. Get yourself together. Women, get yourself together too. That's right, Amen. Amen. Are you listening? Times. The men got you on the bottle, getting drunk, worrying about because he won't. He ain't look at me today. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> You better watch me. You better get yourself together now. Because I'm telling you, life is not stopping for nobody. You're getting older, and yet you're not getting no better. Learn the ways of God. Repent of your sins, human family. Be baptized in the water in the name of Jesus Christ. Come out of those religions that opposes God and walk with 
God's divine truth. Amen. After we give our closing prayer, or one of our ministers will close us out with prayer, I'm going to ask all of our brothers not to leave. I want you to remain seated so I may go over some things with all of our brothers that are here. And the sisters, they can dismiss themselves. The mothers, I'm going to ask all of our mothers to please sit in the back so I can meet with you first before I meet with all of our brothers. There's some things I need to go over, things of a vital importance with all of our mothers. And I need all of our mothers' cooperation. And to all of our brothers, we will get a chance to go over some very important things with you as well. To our brothers from the Baltimore, Maryland Temple, God willing, Friday evening at uh, 7 o'clock, I want to meet with all the brothers of the Baltimore Temple in Baltimore at our new temple where construction is taking place. The brothers that are not here from Baltimore, get in contact with them. All the brothers of the Baltimore location is to meet with me Friday, 7 o'clock in the evening at the new temple that is presently under construction. Please be on time. Please be on time so we can discuss business, do what we got to do, and so we can hit the road and get out of there. God gave us all something good today. And we are thankful. I believe there are some that want to be baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Stand on your feet. Who are you? One, two, three. Wonderful. Uh, my sisters that are from the Philadelphia area that is from, that's on the baptismal committee, I don't want to have to look for you. The two sisters that are standing in the back, get to them right away, immediately. The brother that is standing in the back, you that is on the baptismal committee, get to them immediately, right away. And brothers, get them to the location and get them baptized in the name of Jesus Christ today. Let us all stand. Brothers, remember, do not leave after prayer. Remember, sisters or our mothers, we're going to ask our mothers to quickly get seated in the back so I can meet with you. This evening service will take place in Philadelphia, God willing, at 6 o'clock, and I do hope to see you there. We're going to have our closing prayer by our brother minister, Roger English. Lord God, we give thanks for this afternoon for allowing us to be here and to hear the word of God preached into our hearts and into our minds. We pray, God, that the words of our mouth and the meditation of our heart will be acceptable in your sight. These things we pray and ask in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. 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 Good to see you, man. How you feeling, brother?